Hello everyone and welcome to this relaxing commentary long play in our better Minecraft world. We recently went on an adventure and we took our little pet bee, Bia, who is also our rideable little friend here. And we explored a skeleton stray base camp and looted it and got a bunch of stuff. And today I want to build a greenhouse so that we can have our bees butterflies, crops, and even using some of the bumble zone blocks all in one beautiful glass creation. So as far as where we're going to put this build for today, I want to have some of the space by the gazebo start to get filled out on this side of things and start kind of uh, completing the circle. So we are going to place our little greenhouse right over here. And as far as the size of this, it's going to be 27 blocks long. So it is a fairly large build. So I'm thinking we'll probably place one side of it right around here to make sure it stays in our Sakura Grove. And then we'll just build out 27 blocks this way. And it's also going to be about seven blocks wide. So that's kind of the shape that we're going for, but we will need to get a ton and I mean a ton of glass for this project today. So that's what we're going to work on. We're, we're first gonna start by a snooze, you know, get some rest for our adventure, for our building, our resource collecting. And then I wanna show you guys something. So I'm pretty sure in this mod pack, they had a specific block that was greenhouse glass. And I'm curious to look at this greenhouse here we go so this is greenhouse glass which i don't know if i'm gonna use this in my build but i think it's really interesting so we can slightly warm up our crops planted under to get them to grow out of season which i'm not really going to use this for much of a actual greenhouse in order to grow all the extra crops and things like that throughout our different seasons so we're mostly just gonna make this look pretty and aesthetic and I'm, I'm really excited to have a greenhouse. I think my favorite thing that I was most excited for is there is some really pretty glass blocks that we're gonna be using and it's gonna allow us to just create some really cool arched window panes that kind of really just fit a wonderful vibe for a little, a little greenhouse. So what we're first gonna do is we're going to need to grab some sand and I'm pretty sure I don't have, if I can spell sand right, I don't think I have any uh, actual sand. So we are going to need to end up getting rid of uh, everything in our inventory and pretty much, uh, yes, shoving it full with sand, our, our backpack, our pockets, it's all gonna be shoved full with sand because we need a lot. So I kind of thought about just uh, taking what we have and putting it in a barrel just to open up some extra storage space. So I think what I'm gonna do is we're just gonna remove a bunch of these extra things from our inventory and go looking for <laughs> a lot of sand to just completely like decimate uh, the whole area pretty much. So that's kind of the plan for today is that. <laughs> um, I'm gonna leave a little bit in my inventory just in case I need things, but I think this will be good. We'll leave a little bit of uh, coal in our inventory, but for the most part, we're gonna go getting all of our sand collected up first since that's gonna take us the longest. And as far as glass goes, I don't have a whole lot, but we're gonna be able to make some cool things. Now, I don't have any normal glass to show you this, but I think this is the correct block. So this is what, let me see. Yes, so this is what we're gonna build our glass little greenhouse out of. And if you notice this edge kind of is arched and I think it looks really pretty, but when you put the little glass blocks next to each other, it creates this really pretty, very thin, delicate, kind of like it's made of metal or some iron, 
but you just have these thin bars that go up and I think this is going to make for a really pretty wall for our greenhouse and same with the roof so we're just gonna make sure we actually uh, pick it up with the right tools but that is going to be our glass block we use and we're making pretty much the entire uh, walls and roof out of this block so we're going to need a lot of it but you know for now we'll be okay I'm going to grab a bunch of our Sakura wood first because we're going to use that in our project, also these palisades. And we're going to use some chains, so we'll grab those and then I'm going to grab a chest just to start putting our stuff over there. So I'm only going to need like, we'll just take like two, maybe four, we'll call it good. We have these arched glass panels as well that kind of match this, so I'm curious to try using these. And then that's pretty much the majority of it. The last thing we're gonna use is some granite and we're going to need to collect a lot of granite as well because I wanna use this granite block if I can find it. So there's this granite block with this little pattern on it. And then there's a similar one here. There's two that are pretty similar, but these are gonna be some of the blocks that we use and I think it'll look really cool. So we're going to go exploring those and this tiled one I might also use. Any of these ones that kind of have a smooth border on the edges of the square I think will look really nice. I'll probably use this double inlaid granite one as well. But we do need to just collect up some granite. It's mostly going to be glass. The edges are going to be lined with some sakura and then the one tall block kind of base of it the foundation of this is going to be made of our granite and then we are going to use some moss and i don't need much because we're going to just bone meal this so let me grab some bone meal there we go and we'll see if i have a water bucket yes this is our sugar water so that's not actually what i want do i have a normal bucket no okay we'll just leave that for now but i'm gonna just move some of these items over to where we're gonna be working and we are good on sakura so we don't need to collect any more of that i wanted to see how many of the resources i already had to know what we need to collect so we're going to collect granite and we're going to collect some arched well not we're not collecting these specifically but we're going to collect glass so that we can make the arched and then we do need to do quite a bit of terraforming especially since i basically kind of have to shave away this whole mountainside right here but for now, you know, we'll we'll just start where we can. And I think it'll look really pretty. I'm very excited. So we're collecting sand and granite. So we can just go off on our way. Now, as far as where we can find sand, I'm going to assume that we can collect a bunch of sand here. Like there's beaches as well that we could collect some sand on. But we haven't really found a desert like at all. And I'm not really sure where we could find a desert, but I would love to set one up. So what we could do is we could start off with a little adventure to a desert. What do you guys think? Would that be a fun time? We can take Bia and go adventuring to get us some sand uh, a lot quicker. I think I put my nature compass up here, but what's really cool is we have this nature compass and this allows me to find a specific biome so if I try to find this and I start my search it's looking for a desert and it looks like it is like 3,000 blocks away now if I right click this again I'm curious if I can teleport if I click here can I teleport <gasps> oh oh <gasps> what <gasps> we can teleport that is so cool but what are you guys wait are you turkey vultures <gasps> wait are those lions oh my gosh there's lions here <gasps> um um i, I might have uh made a mistake <laughs> Ooh, wait what is on that what is this <gasps> Oh, well, I guess we're starting off doing an adventure. Oh, hi, little salamanders. If I crouch, will you be... Can I get close enough to you? I want to see what you are. Lizard? Lizard? What are you? Come here, my buddy. Hi. What? 
Why can't I look at you? Hi, buddy. You're so cute. Okay, well... Here we are, 3,000 blocks away from home. I probably should have made a waystone. That was my bad. Um, but now I'm curious what this is. You know, sometimes in Better Minecraft, you go out just to collect resources and you end up finding cool things to explore. Except I wanna know how to get in here. Hold up. Oh my gosh, there's elephants. <gasps> That's so cool! Oh my gosh! And there's a there's a giraffe! <gasps> this is so cool! Oh my goodness! Okay, but for reals, how do I get in this thing? <laughs> there's like no door. Do I just break in? Is that the vibe? I don't know if this is the vibe. Where is the thing? Is it solid? Hello? Am I gonna just end up going through this whole thing? Hello? Why is this so strange? I, it, it's echoey, am I getting close? I'm just tunneling through this entire thing. Hello? Um. I don't like the sound of you. Oh, interesting, okay. Um. So there's a spawner. Very cool, very fun. Oh, and um, gunpowder I'll take. Cool, all right, I think that's all that was in there. So it's not a whole lot, but look at this. Oh, I'm so excited. Now, the one thing I wish I could find is a, um, a village. Oh no, yeah, look at this distance. Oh, I didn't know I could teleport like that. <laughs> uh, that was a mistake. But we're here. So we're gonna collect up all of the bits of sand. Just like I said. We wanted sand. We're here for sand. Let's, let's collect up a bunch of sand. This is when I wish I had a efficiency on my shovel. But you know... We'll, we'll collect it all up, and it'll be great.
right, well, I would say that worked a lot quicker than I thought it would. I totally forgot that I had the vein miner, and even though it's a pickaxe, it still works on sand just the same. So we can already pretty much go back home, which is a good thing because this is gonna be the uh, the harder part of the journey. So if I, if I wanna make a waystone to get back home from here, which I should honestly have a waystone to here anyways, we need obsidian and emeralds and the abyss watcher, which is just the flint and the ender pearl. Now, as far as what I have in my inventory, we've got some of it. We unfortunately took away our ender pearls so that we don't have those, but I feel like we could, you know, find something. Also, there's these like wild chili peppers, which they look really pretty as a flower. So I'm going to take these with us and we're going to just have them be around our house. You know, we can, I think at some point I would love to make kind of like a farm, like crop garden. And then we can have all sorts of cabbages, chilies, all the things kind of as our items for it. Now, I am curious if I can uh, get my nature compass to get me back home. So we have a blush sakura biome. And it's saying it's 420 blocks away, which I highly doubt. Oh, it's literally this. This is where it's gonna spawn me. Which there's cool things. Maybe this will have some emeralds. I'm just trying to find something that will have emeralds in it. So whether it's a village or something different, but I'm pretty sure this is where it's going to uh, send me. But I feel like this could have some emeralds. So maybe we try to go for this and we'll do a temporary, um, Actually, wait, can I try this? I've I've never tried this. There's this teleport feature. Can I like teleport here? Oh, oh, oh my gosh. Oh, that is huge, guys. Oh my goodness. Oh, that's so cool. As long as I can see it and I've traveled there, I can just teleport. So you're telling me? <laughs> I could have done that the whole time. Ah, <laughs> uh, you know, that that's fair. Well, I think using our nature compass plus that map feature that's super handy, we will be more than set to travel this place much quicker. I'm very shocked, but also very excited to have that as a feature. I, I can't believe it. That's like so, so simple, but incredible. Now we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine of these. And we have one, two, three, four, I think it's just nine. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Yeah. So I'm going to just get all of the coal filled in for these little spots. And then we're going to start smelting up all of our glass in here. And we're going to go looking for some granite. That's the next thing. And I know I can go down into my mining outpost and we'll find them. So that'll be easy enough. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And I don't want a 14, I want a full stack. And now we just add them in here, like so. And this is definitely way, way more than I will ever need for sand, but I would much rather have all of the sand and we can, uh, you know, put it all away into our chests. No problem. And watch this. Done. Put all of those away. Beautiful. Yeah, I just typed you. And now we can grab all of our stuff from here. And honestly, let's just break the chest at this point. Then we can just put all these things inside our inventory. The mending bow. Shears can go in there. All of the goodies. And then we'll take out the sand. So we have our space all filled in again. And then I was leaving this here so that we could have some extra coal on hand. So I'm just going to leave this in here for our coal. Now, while we wait for all of our glass to smelt, we're gonna put the rest of our sand away. And look at this, I have 1500 sand plus the nine stacks upstairs. But if I try to take out some, I only, even with left clicking, take out a full stack. 
And if I right click, I take out half of stack. So kind of a fun little feature. I was very excited about just having that as an option. I think it's just interesting. Speaking of emeralds, my dude, my, my friend, I hear you. Where are you though? A red merchant? Um, what are you? You sell things, are you dangerous? Oh, oh. Why is this so extreme? <gasps> Whoa, I wanna keep you, oh my goodness. A rope arrow, whoa, that's so cool. TNT, copper lanterns. <gasps> You're selling cool things, can I keep you? <laughs> Imagine I just keep them. <laughs> All right, let's look at this lantern. Ooh. Do we like guys? I think they look cool. I say we get more of those. Okay, dude. I will take more of those. So 12 is our max. I will also take TNT because we don't really have a lot. I guess I'm using, hey, 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 stay here. I never knew we could get a little red merchant! You're so cute! Look at you've got a little moustache! Look at you, so fancy. Also, what is... What are these? Like, what do I use these for? Can I, like, throw this? I'm kind of scared, but I want to test this out. <gasps> what, what was that all it did? Oh. Wait, is that what it did? Hang on, sir. Hang on. I need to. I need to test. I need to see this again. Okay, um, this space is just there. Interesting. Interesting. What's the blue one do? Let's try a blue one. So we take this. <gasps> I don't have enough emeralds. Oh no. Okay, that's fine. Rope arrows though. What is a rope arrow? Can I try this? How does that work? Ropes. Rope arrow. I don't, I don't get, I don't, uh, do you go like, okay, no. Okay, I have options now. I don't know how to use this, but we got something cool from him. Um, thank you. Thank you for the stuffs. I'll take some. Oh, hi, dude. Where you're in- Oh! <gasps> uh... Did you, wait, did you just throw- Did you just throw that at him? Uh... What? Did you just- I didn't. Did you do that? Okay, I really want to see that happen again. I really want to see that happen again. Hang on. Let's go find, let's go. I'm getting so distracted. Let's go find a friend. What? Did that actually just happen? I promise I'll sleep. I just, for science, I need to test this again. That was so funny. Did they actually just yeet that at them? That's hilarious. Oh my goodness. Um, let's see here. Hmm. Well, I guess the good thing is I'm not really getting much spawning by my area, and that's exactly what I wanted. I don't want, um, I don't want those skeletons, though. I just want a zombie for practice. Not you. Not you. Not you. Yeah, not you. Owie! Where are you? Hi, buddy. No, you're not, you're not helpful. Okay, okay, okay. It's fine. Okay, we're good. Bruh. Oh my word. Okay, you know, 
we'll we'll experiment later. We've got our merchant friend. I don't want to die just trying to experiment, but I I am fairly confident. <laughs> they actually just yeeted that at the the dude. That's hilarious. Oh, I am a pincushion. Oh my goodness. <laughs> yep, we're a pincushion. Okay. So let's uh, eat some food. I'm like, sirs, did you actually throw? Okay, you let me know in the comments. Do you think that that guy yeeted the little explodey thing at the uh, this red merchant guy? Because that's actually so funny if that's true. But I can't really get anything else from them. The rope, I don't like their type of rope that they give out. So we're just gonna, we're just gonna go on our merry little way. Um, we have some cool things now. Like, I, I guess we'll just put this in our, in our little, uh, little chests. Kind of neat. I think that's cool. Kind of fun. Okay, well. Let's put our uh, emeralds back and that back. Now, let's go grab granite. Let's stay on task. Ah, <laughs> oh, that's so funny. I still can't believe I can literally just like click and teleport here as long as I've like visited the place. That is, that is huge. Like for traveling through Better Minecraft, that is so nice. And honestly, it makes me really not care as much about getting an elytra soon like obviously i want to go explore the uh, the different biomes in the end and in the like i have a little bit in the nether but it's mostly the end that we haven't been to yet we on a live stream went into the nether once but it's not exactly the like fun cozy vibes you know so i don't really go there a lot but this is what we have now i have my my vein miner so we're gonna use that to grab our granite. Oh, I guess I uh, took out all the walls. But I I love vein miner, literally. Oop, so, so helpful. Imagine if there was just like a pit below me and I did that. That would not be ideal. I wish that I could have silk touch vein miner. Maybe that's an option. But, you know, we've got our stacks of granite, so I'd say we're good. I'm gonna put more torches in here just to keep it safe. But I also want to keep our staircase uh, safer. Just so like we can run down the stairs and we're not as concerned, you know? About falling and whatnot. We can just go. But I do think I should actually use, at least on these top ones, some granite. Just so I remember that this is the section for granite. That's probably more important to me, is that I know that this is where I'm going to get all of my granite from. And we'll add a torch in here, just in case. Okay, there we go. And then we've got granite, so I'd say we're good to go. Alright, well, that's more than enough granite for what I needed, so we can go on up. Now, we're gonna use this granite in our mason's table, and we're gonna convert it into different blocks. And then we're gonna go lay out exactly where our structure is going to be, and then we'll be good to go. So, I mean, I'm excited. I love it. Vein miner is probably one of my favorite, favorite, favorite kind of uh, enchants. Okay. Let's visit our friends upstairs. Let's see if our dude's still stuck. <laughs> yep, they, they got stuck there. I keep on like setting them down on the ground. Hi, bud. Hi there. There you go, Senny. I hope that helps ya. But I keep putting them down on the ground and then they just end up uh, going back where I don't need them to be. All right, so there's so many blocks to choose from, but let's take a look at some. So do these link up? They don't link up. So I found one that links up and these don't really link up. So these aren't the ones we're looking for. So let's convert some other ones. And it is thundering. So we're gonna sleep with our little friends upstairs. All right, 
Oh, I still have glass in here. Interesting. I will definitely take more glass. All right, so let's take a look and find these other ones. Now, we're looking for one that's called Tiny Brick. It looks similar to this. We want Edged. This is one of them, so we want some Edged Granite. Not the smooth. And then the other one is thick. Thick inlaid, bordered, bordered. I've got something specific in mind. I'm trying to find it. Did they sad? Sad granite, what? <laughs> like a face on it, that's interesting. Inlaid. Huh. I'm not seeing what I was looking for. Wait, glad, duh. What are these faces? That's interesting. Okay, so similar to this thick inlay, there should be a thin one. And that's what I'm kind of trying to find. Edged is in here, so I know it's, it's here somewhere. Interesting. Oh, this looks so different. All right, let's try these ones together since these are the ones I was thinking of. So let's do this and this. Mm, they might not do exactly what I'm thinking they'll do. Okay, so we've got this one doing that. But if we put these in the middle here, looks like that, which could be kind of cool. Let's look at some other options and see what we can get. Let's see. Now, as far as the block that I'm looking for, if I show you in here, so if we go to granite and I do tiny, there's granite options with it, so... There's borderless bricks, tiny layered borderless slabs, tiny layered borderless brick bricks. So there's this one here, which it, it, it shows up, so I know it's a thing. But then there should be a granite one. Bricks, slabs, Tiny brick boarded granite. So this is the block that I'm looking for. So I need to look for that in this thing. This guy right here. And it's in chip, so I should be able to find it. It's just got the square and the edges. All prettied. Pretty prettyified. What would be interesting is if this just like wasn't here, you know? I guess. Like I really liked how this specific block worked, which is why I care so much. <laughs> but I don't know if it's... Oh, it was here the whole time. Okay, let me show you why I liked this one. Okay? Okay. So, when you put this in a row, it kind of creates its own little lane, but my idea is to use these edged ones and to kind of break it up. So, like, every three, we'll put one of these... And that will kind of break it up, but then this gets its own border and box, but I really like that. So this is what we're doing for our whole little spot. Now 12 should be plenty for the edged. I just need the tiny brick granites and we'll, we'll just do a stack now that I know exactly where they were. That I don't know why I missed that, but uh, I did miss that. And we can take these other things. Are you stuck again, my friend? I don't know what to do with you. Maybe we should bake them a new house so they don't get like stuck consistently. I feel like that might be the play, honestly. Okay. Now then, we can drop off the granites that we're not going to use just to keep our inventory clear. So edged and tiny, I'm not using smooth for these ones. And that one I'm not using, I'm not using these. We'll put those back. They should be enough so I can just leave everything else here. And then let's go do some digging. So as far as placement of my little 
uh, greenhouse here. That's the first thing we're going to figure out. We're going to figure out exact placement and then we'll place our nine long and then go 27 blocks out. But I want to keep this in the Sakura. So maybe we just take down some of these trees first. Just so I can get a better vision and idea of what this place is going to look like. We'll need to clear out space anyways, so like this this works out. Help this works out very well. I get my visual of where we'll place our base and we start clearing it out anyways. So that that works out great. We'll clear you guys out. And you guys out. Okay, and we'll pick up all the wood, make sure we don't miss those. And then We'll kind of get to see what space we have to fill, which, you know, that will kind of help us know where we're going to begin. Everything gets placed. It's very exciting, though. I think I love just the before and afters of like, here's what it looked like before we started and here's what it is now. So as of right now, I think I like the idea of starting it a little bit on the edge of the Sakura, but I don't want it to be on the grass that is inside the birch forest. So I think if we start our build, we're gonna fill in this layer of dirt right here. And if we start it like right around here, so probably like five blocks from the chest, I feel like that'll be great. So that's kind of where I'm thinking we start. So then if we do one, two, three, four, five. So that's kind of where we're starting with things. And then if we go seven, two, three, four, five, six, seven then this will kind of help me get an idea of if this specific size placement I think is good. And it does seem, maybe we push it back a little bit. I'd say we can push it back three blocks. So we'll add three blocks here. We'll try this one, two, three, and then one, two, three, get rid of those. Get rid of those. One, two, three. And then just to make sure we have one, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. Perfect. Okay. I think this will be a much better shape and position for it. Yeah, because it's right inside the Sakura, but we are using our space. I want to make sure, especially on the sides, there's a lot more of the Sakura. Because we'll see more of the sides than we will the back. So now we uh, go 27 blocks. Uh, that way so that'll that'll be good that'll be great we already have one two and three well we have four actually so four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen fifteen sixteen nineteen twenty twenty one twenty two twenty three twenty four twenty five twenty six and twenty seven yeah so we're not breaking like a whole lot of this, but this is what it's going to be. It's going to be pretty wide and not too deep. I'm not making it a super large space, but we could if we wanted to make it go nine. Maybe we go nine. I feel like that could actually be really nice. So instead of seven, we're going to nine. So we have seven, eight and nine. So let's just see how this looks. All right, and if we stand back to see, oh, I gotta, I gotta save all the Sakura that I can just because we're gonna build with it. Yeah, I feel like that's better and it will give us a little bit more space for our bees and our butterflies. We're gonna have two villagers in here and I'm gonna have one side of the greenhouse be more for the bees and the butterflies and flowers and then the beekeeper is gonna work here. And then we're going to also have a section for crops. So then we're going to have a farmer over on this side. And then there's going to be kind of like a taller glass structure in the middle. So that's kind of the, the style and the vibes that we're going for. But let's, uh, let's finish this out. I can bring this all the way through. I just need to, there we go, fix the... It being less than a block doesn't allow me to place if I'm standing on top of it. Okay, and then uh, to right here. 
Sweet, okay. Well, now we get started and we'll just use Vein Miner to help us go a little bit quicker. Ooh. All right, we gotta be a little bit careful. There's some central spooky vibes down here. Not about to go looking for bad guys down here. Ooh, okay. Interesting. These little ways to go around. Nothing too crazy, so that's good. Um, I will sleep here though. I like how the red merchant is still hanging around. I can see in the top right map. We can uh, see that he's still just vibing, having a good time in the woods. <laughs> Which to me is kind of funny that they're just chilling in the woods, you know. But we're getting more dirt, which is great. And look at that. We definitely had enough of the tiny bricks. Now we're going to start pretty soon here laying down the other ones that are going to create the base. But we're going to fix up this little spot first. So let's grab these blocks and go back up. And then we're grabbing Podzel. Gotta get our vein miner on. And right here. Perfect. So then we'll just pick up all these blocks. And it was pretty much, look at that, pretty much all taken care of. We just add a few extra blocks that uh, will get removed. Just a few blocks swiping and then there we go. look at that we got the full shape and then we can start going this way and we're gonna put like two layers of dirt under here I would say at least just to make sure that everything looks good together all right, and then look at this. We've got a shape. All right, then we can stand back and look at it again, but it's pretty large. So, uh, oh yeah, we need, to, <laughs> we need to fix this spot as well. But it looks pretty large, but I think this will look really cool. I think it's going to kind of tie in around the gazebo nicely. So I'm excited for this. Oh, it'll be so fun to just be able to have a greenhouse. I'm not going to use the special glass because this is just aesthetics mainly. I'm going to just hang out in here, you know, get all my cute, cute cozies, cozies on. That'll be the vibe. But for now, we just place a bunch of dirt. And I will collect this calcite. We do like ourselves some calcite. Ow! Oh no, I keep on pressing the wrong buttons. You ever do that where like you're you kind of panic and then you press the wrong buttons and then you're just quickly going between your your like menu screen and just everything else and you just slightly panic but it's not really like helping the situation like at all <laughs> that's how i was kind of just feeling right there All right, then we get this all covered up. All the way. See, it's kind of nice that I have an iron farm because I'm not really concerned about leaving any of the iron that I was just leaving. Don't need to worry about it at all. And then we gotta get rid of these guys. And then we go over here. All the way through. And then we grab our calcite. Our other calcite. Literally every time I see calcite, I'm just like, I better grab this while I can because I don't... Ooh, is this like a vein of calcite? Kind of seems that way. 
but I always want to make sure that I can have access to the calcite and like collect it when I see it just because it is a harder resource for me to be able to acquire. But now we've got dirt. We're getting rid of our boulder here as well. And calcite. Oops, wrong. That's not the right key bind. Oh wow, there's a lot over here. Love it. We will gladly collect all of it up as we see it. And then we have to dig our way out of here. It's interesting how the sounds are muffled depending on the location that you're at. I think that's so interesting. And then we've got some coal, we've got some torches. We'll put some torches down there since I don't really care to cover it back up. We'll just ignore it, it's fine. Totally fine. Who's gonna know? <laughs> like that um, meme sound, like who's gonna know? How are they gonna know? You know, that's what, that's what I'm thinking of is that specific one. All right, now we're gonna move our chest. And move all the blocks that we'll need. Perfect. And then we've got these. So then my other idea is on the corners, we're going to have a sakura wood so we can start building that up, which will kind of then change what order we uh, place these edged granite bricks in so my idea was that the sakura would be on the edges and then there would be two of these tiny bricks and then we would put one of our other bricks like so and that's kind of the vibe for the whole thing now we're gonna do two and another one just like so and then in the middle we are going to have a doorway so we're gonna have one, two, and then the doorway will start. So we have that going there, then one, two, and I think we're gonna start our door here, which will be up by five. And then these are gonna go up by five as well in the corners. And same over here, so we just get rid of that block. And same over on these corners as well. And we'll put that one back in. Remove this one. Okay. Now, on this inside, we're going to have our doorway. But we're going to have the same amount of our granite variations on this side as well. So we're going to swap these blocks out. So we have two of these and then one of those and then two more and then one of those. So it keeps looking the same. So if I step back, it should look the same way and then we'll end up having we need more dirt, that's for sure, because I need to have more space here. This will work for now. Okay, and then from this side, we've got two here. Then it goes here. So it's a very wide doorway. Now, if I'm uh, checking out my little picture here, we've got three on each side. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So these seven get removed. 
and our glass does get placed so it goes like one two three and then one two three and then we're gonna have a doorway but the door that we're using is going to look more like a glass pane so it's gonna be one of these types so i think i'm gonna try for a spruce one i wish there was one that kind of fit the like silvered look but i don't have one of those we could try maybe for a bamboo one but i think i want to try with a spruce one so this is going to be our doorway and it's going to look like a glass pane as well which is going to really help kind of sell the whole thing so i'm excited for that but then these will just go up here like so all the way so this is what it's gonna look like. We're starting to get it all sorted out and I really like it. I do need to finish filling this in, but I want to have this lined up. So if I had more, so that's on one, two, three, four, five. And then if we're over here, we can go up five here. One, two, three, four, five. And now if I walk directly over here, the other one will be placed. One, two, three, four, five. All right, now if we do a little look away, I'm gonna hide my armor again, because I sometimes will just hit it by accident. But this is the shape that we have so far. So what we're going to do is we're going to just fill up these walls with glass. And then little by little, we're going to kind of have this go in one block. So the glass will be filled up on the sides all the way, but then after we get up to this point, it's gonna jump in one so that it kind of slowly starts to move in to help us slowly make our dome shape. So we're gonna go check on our glass, grab a bunch of that since we're at the step where we need all of the glass. And then we're also going to grab more dirt. So I should just grab full stacks. We can put all these things away. All these extra things I don't need anymore. And then we'll grab dirt and then we need glass. So we'll grab that. We've got lots of glass up here, but we're going to take a quick sleep outside in our area. Well, in our open area, I should say, the balcony. All right, and with a beautiful view, it is time to get to work. And my tools are running pretty low, so I'm actually going to see about mending up my shovel with this. Because it was pretty low, and we might use the shovel more. I also know that my silk touch is pretty low, so we're gonna mine some of this up and use some of that XP. So it's a little bit better off, 600 and 1,000 and 600. So they're still low, but they're much better off. Now I won't need all of this glass, but I'm going to just keep maybe about half of it. I would say let's keep full stacks. So we'll take four full stacks and we're gonna go and check on our little friends upstairs and use the glass blower. I'm really glad I put ladders on all four corners because it just makes it so much easier. Now I'm looking for the arched one. Arched lead glass pillar. I don't think that's it. Hmm. Let's see, large. There's so many options. Look at this. So if I'm looking at glass, arched glass. Oh, I guess there's only the one. Okay, I thought there was maybe more than one. Oh, wait, how do I turn that off? How do I turn off? This slot, double click the search bar to toggle this mode. Okay, I was gonna say, I really don't like seeing it highlighted. That doesn't help me right now. But it's kind of a cool feature to know that, you know, you can have that be a thing. All right, arched, arched, arched. All right, let's start here. 
Did you? <laughs> you got out of this spot, Sunny, and then you just got stuck in another spot. Oh my goodness. What am I gonna do with you, little... Actually, we'll go this way. This will be more direct. I don't know what I'm gonna do with that, Sunny. Sunny's just being a little silly. Okay. Oh, I'm so excited for this part. It's gonna look so pretty. So, so good. And we're just going up all the way. All right, so I think we're gonna go like this. We'll just do one layer all the way around and then we'll be able to reach from the top. Okay, I think we got it for Slayer. This is what we have. And this was what I was envisioning. I feel like this just gives me like kind of a classic Victorian style greenhouse. And even though it's not fitting by like more like fantasy inspired aesthetic, I, I really like these glass panes and I think they're literally so so perfect for something like this like they're just beautiful to me like I am obsessed with these glass panes especially the little arches at the top and the thin little iron bars like this is what I was describing when I was picturing the greenhouse and wanting to explain it to you guys but we are already uh, out of glass so I guess I uh, I'm very glad that I grabbed all of that glass that I did but it seems like I'm gonna need more, so we'll, we'll grab all of it. And I'm just gonna type glass so it doesn't keep moving away from me. Okay, so now we have all of our glass. We'll, we'll try this again. Round two of getting enough glass crafted up. Now, when we're looking at this, I don't know how many more layers I will need. I'm just gonna start with four. Like, that almost uses it all up anyways, but we'll just we'll start with four. Hey, you got free. I'm so proud of you, Sunny. Did copper help? Okay, so now we're going this way. Now, another project that we're going to need to do is getting paths looking cute i have neglected my pads seriously very seriously neglected my pads so that will be a project that we will also do is just making that look much nicer so i'm excited for that but that is something i'm considering so don't worry if you're kind of like uh red <laughs> this, this isn't looking cute anymore <laughs> it's, it's not the vibes we were thinking so don't you worry I'm, I'm working on it. All right, so then these go in here. And then these are going to be too high. So then we can go around here. We just need to make sure we get the bottom one going first and then the top. Bottom and top pieces of glass. And now we just kind of go around. Mm 
Now the other thing we're going to do is we're going to have a bunch of leaves on the inside of the greenhouse. So it will look very overgrown and I'm excited to see how that looks. I need to remove all of these guys though. But I think it'll look really pretty. I'm excited for it. I think having it just be super overgrown is going to look so pretty for this. And it's also going to just be fun to kind of just decorate this on the exterior. We're going to use some kind of like fences and chains to kind of create some height on the corners where the sakura is. And that's going to kind of be built up throughout the different sections of the walls and I think it'll look really pretty. And then once we get this fully done, we're going to do another kind of similar two up and one in. So we're going to go here. And then it's one more layer that's going to be up by two. And then we're, we should be getting closer to being at the one. We did widen this by two blocks, so it might look, it's going to look a little bit different than what I initially had in creative as I was just testing out the blocks, you know, seeing which of these modded blocks I really enjoy. So once we get this up, we'll go in once more with our glass. And we might do another layer of two. We'll kind of see how close we get once we get this layer of two all the way built up. Because sometimes once it's fully done on a specific layer, it then all of a sudden looks way smaller. So I'll either do another layer of two high after this one, going in by a block like we have been, or we're going to just do a one block. We'll see if it's going to be a two or a one block. By the looks of it, I think we'll go in by two. Yeah, so if we're looking at this, here's what the greenhouse looks like so far. And then we're going to have the Sakura also be set in by one block all the way up. And I think this looks so cool. I love it so much. Now, I do want to try to figure out a way to kind of arc this a little bit more. So we might in like set in the Sakura slightly to kind of give that illusion of curve, but we'll see how that looks. But for now, we're definitely going back up uh, one full. Actually, we'll do two. We'll do two. I think two will be better. Yeah, cause then we'll just have a little bit left. Man, I really should have uh, just fully used up all of the arched glass on this. I'm already running out. I would never would have imagined I'd need like 10 stacks today or something like that. Actually pretty nuts. But let's take a snooze up here. All right, now just to give us an idea. Look at that, it's so cool. I love that, Ugh, it's so fun. I, I, I just need to get down now without hurting myself, and then we need to get back up. So that is the goal. Don't hurt yourself getting around. And then I didn't think I had any more in here. Now the other thing I thought about doing is if I, this is silk touch, I could kind of like inlay these and it could be interesting, right? Kind of like that type of a thing. And if I remove this, I thought about doing this, like that could look cool. The only issue is then we have like a gap and I don't want the animals getting out. I don't think they would. And you can't really tell like a whole lot of a difference. So this might just be something we try at a different time. Still looks cool though, you do have to admit. All right, now let's go get more of our glass once we fix this back up. So we'll leave that in there and leave these in here as well. And then we go use our glass blower once again. All right. Oh, hi, Sunny. You're stuck on the countertop. <laughs> I can't even like push you off. It's a little difficult. Now I feel like I just need one more, but I will just use all of this up just for the sake of it. 
So we got a stack and 39. Alrighty. Now, we should have enough. <laughs> Hopefully. <laughs> I guess we'll see, you know. We'll, we'll just have to decide once we're there. We can always go back out, you know. Maybe we'll make a waystone first before we teleport out there, but... We'll, we'll have enough, I believe. I think we're at the end of it all. Alright, and up we go. And up again. And where do we leave off? Right here. Okay, perfect. We can jump up here. And we're just gonna finish going all the way around. If I don't mess up the rhythm that I just had. <laughs> How do I keep placing them on the top? I'm trying to place them on the bottom first. Now we should be at one. We definitely have enough glass. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're we're good. We we got the glass. We got this. But we are gonna go up two. We'll see. We might go up by one. Let's just see what one looks like, and then we'll we'll change our mind once we uh, get this one pass through. I feel like I might like it to be a little bit taller. But we also might add some Sakura fences to the top of this to just make it look nicer. So then if we take a little look back... I think this is there's so much glass happening right now. So many glass blocks. But I think... I think I'll leave it with just the one and we'll see about adding in some fence posts and chains and stuff on the top. I think that'll make it look nicer, but we'll call that good for now. And now we can just add in our sakura around the edges. We will need to get more, but this will become a sakura. Except we don't want them to face this way, so we might put more dirt down. Hi, dude. You watching my, my handiwork? You can't exactly reach me right now, so maybe, you know, come back later. Or don't come back. Okay. <laughs> Alright, so once we get this in, I think this will look a lot better. And then we'll just take this one. And then if I scoop this, I can at least get that one. Okay, and then we've got our glass. I have six left, so it's not like a whole lot, but it could get us somewhere. And now we're officially out. Okay, so even just adding that in, I think that breaks it up really nicely. And with these, I like how it curves. So I might change these. I just did like straight up and down, but I think I'm going to shift them over one. So let's actually try that. We're gonna pick all of these up and just shift them in by one block. We'll see how this goes no idea how this is gonna look but we'll just we'll test it all right now let's see if we like that better Ooh, i yes i think this will look good i don't know if i like how this both slants the same way so we might arc another row of sakura this way and kind of create like a, a y in between it all so we'll kind of just mess around with that but for now i'm just gonna i'm gonna be happy with how it looks oh yeah there's the zombie friend. Oh, I didn't want to pick up the fish. I just wanted the doit. Just the doit.
And I do just want this to look a little bit more like it's not just kind of hovering. So I wanted to just fill in some of the dirt in the back just to make it look a little bit better. And that's all filled in, so that already looks good. I don't need to touch that up much. But this was kind of the area I was thinking that I need to do a lot more touch-ups on. All right. Oh, we'll just stick there. I was like, why isn't anything going down in that one spot? Okay. Just even having some dirt on this side, I think, helps a lot. But let's grab more of our Sakura. And let's try to finish out these little logs. I also don't want this zombie flush in my inventory. So if I just pillar up. And then let's try the same curved in thing. Not exactly sure how it's gonna work. Okay, let's take a look. I think I want to try the V-shape little design. We'll see how I like this. Ooh, I think I'm going to like this. Okay. You know? I think I do like that. That's, that's the design. I figured it out on the go. Adding new things, making it look cute. Oh, no. I had a feeling I might fall. I just had an inkling. Okay. But yeah, I really like that. I think that looks great. So we'll just do that around here. And then these pillars get removed. We add a dirt block. Pillar gets removed. Dirt, Sakura, remove pillar, add it in. And then glass. Can I sleep yet? Oop, I can sleep. Wonderful. And now we continue this. Now that I have the whole front done, I do want to see what the full thing looks like. Ooh, okay, I like it. And just imagine some little like fences with a chain on top to kind of create some more height to it. I think it'll look really cool. It does look a little funny, granted with the dirt pillar right in front of the one, but I, th I think it'll be okay. And then we get rid of these glass blocks these glass blocks these ones which let me see if I can try to remove some of those dirt spawn down cleaning it up okay perfect and then these ones go in I wonder how this looks. Ooh, yeah, arching it looks really good. We're gonna bring it all the way up. Beautiful. And then over here. And then coming on this side. I'm gonna run out, but it's okay. This corner one just needs to be done. You know, glass house, like glass greenhouses are often just so beautiful, but also very simple. Like this is just a bunch of glass and some wood and some granite. And it's gonna look really cool. This is just, you know, the first pass through. 
It looks like I need to get more Sokka, though. Okay. We'll, we'll take them. We'll, we'll get more. Also, I want to remove this. Fill this in. So our ground looks normal. We cover up all the podzol like it never existed because sometimes I wish it wasn't a block. Okay, I'm curious. Do you guys actually use podzol? Because I feel like I never use podzol unless I'm trying to grow like mushrooms. Like that's the only real use I can think of. Like I, I don't... I don't think I like using it for like a building block. Like I don't really think the look of it works or is that pretty, but that's just my personal opinion. I would love to know if any of you guys actually use Podzol for other purposes and like what you use it for. Cause for me, I'm like, why is there this Podzol thing? Cause I don't really ever use it, you know? So it doesn't feel like it's as important to me. Like I don't really care, right? And maybe I would care if I saw it used well, or just like used at all, but I feel like I never really see people using Podzol a lot. Alright, now we get all of these trees. This uses, ow, a lot of Podzol. Or, I'm, I'm saying Podzol. This uses a lot of bone meal. <laughs> do you ever do that too, where you're like, talk, owie, talking about something, and then you end up just like accidentally saying it. Okay, and then you guys. I love that feature. I was just waiting for it. I was just so focused right there. I just kind of, I think, just stopped mid sentence because I was like, this is gonna work. It's gonna be great. All right, 45. I'm gonna say that'll be enough. It's not like we have like a whole lot to finish out. It's just this little corner. So this should be good. Except I wasn't sure why this was staying, but now I see. All right, up we go. And then we get rid of these pillars. Use some dirt. I think we got it all done. This side is all done. That side is all done. I wonder if from our map. Oh yeah, the map even has a cool design. Oh, that's so cool. I love that. That's so cool. Yes, love it, love it. Okay. Now, the next things that I want to do are, we're just gonna look at how this is. We're gonna keep this pretty much all very overgrown, but I do want to use moss. So I think, did I grab a piece of our moss? I thought I did. But if we don't have the moss there, we're going to grab some. But we're going to kind of hide some water sources here, and then one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. One, two, three, four. So we're gonna hide water sources for the farms. And then we're gonna have the beehives be on this side of things. Now on this inside, I also thought about having the sakura because I think it will just make it look prettier to have some of the, the logs in here. So we've got that. And then that kind of just creates a little bit more of a separation of the rooms too which I think looks really good. So we'll go up and bring them all down. Make sure the, the direction is all the same. Okay, that looks good. Ooh, this is gonna look good. I love it. Okay, and then these ones. Okay, and then we go up. 
Now what I might do is I know if I kind of make a little square with these, I can create some of these which no longer have the, the open sides. And since we are gonna use this a lot more, it might look nicer if these won't, weren't just open sides, they were just like a smooth side of the log. So I might change that around as well, but let's just get some of these in place first. There we go, I think that looks nice. And I might honestly do the same thing on these corners. I think that'll look really pretty. So let's go grab some more Sakura. And I need more bone meal, which I don't have. So we will have to go get more bone meal. But we'll just set up the trees for now. And we can bone meal what we can. And then we'll go grab more bones. Let's see, bone meal, bone block. We'll take those for now. Oh, I'm so excited for this. This is gonna look so pretty. It's already making me just so happy to have it. I love it. It's so fun. This series is just there's so many options in modded. But I am also curious if there's been things that you've heard of in Better Minecraft that you either have not been able to check out for yourself, like different biomes, like someone commented that they'd love for me to go to the Bumble Zone, which we finally just went to. And so I just think it would be fun to go to places in the modded like better Minecraft world that you guys have not been able to go to and I can kind of go on an adventure with you and kind of show you, you know, like what it could look like if you were to go there and kind of, you know, we can go on a little adventure together and then you can kind of decide if you wanna go to the biomes that we go to that you're considering type of a thing, you know? I just think that could be fun. So if there's any specific places or structures that you think would be cool for me to go to in modded, let me know. Let me know in the comments and we can kind of see about maybe exploring some of them. I will say I do wanna go to the end. So that is already a plan of mine, but it's just, I don't wanna rush it. I think we might go look for the stronghold soon. Oh yeah, putting that on the inside makes it look way better. And then lots of greenery compared to that. Yeah, having it kind of highlighted and having it framed in looks way better. I love that. But yeah, if there's any specific places, you know, let me know. I'm going to go find the ancient city. I know there's one literally like below my base. Like it is below my house, an ancient city. And I know there's like a whole nother dimension that once I kill a warden, I can unlock a, the new kind of like, um, I guess they're calling it the first city or the lost city, but the portal that is in the ancient city, I can light it, which feels like a lot, but also could be super cool. But that's something we can do. So those are some of the places I'm already planning to go to. We're gonna go to the end. We're gonna defeat the dragon because we want to go exploring with an elytra around the end and all of the beauty, but I wanna make sure I have some things like already prepped ahead of time. Like I wanna have a sugarcane farm, which I do have and a gunpowder farm to make that a lot easier, but we're going to the end. We're going to an ancient city. I think it could be cool to try to go to the, the first city or lost city place, but yeah, we'll see. But if you know of other places that I have not mentioned that are, you know, in better Minecraft, let me know. I think it could be cool to explore some more. Alrighty, now, did I bring moss? I did bring moss, okay. This is what I needed, I needed the moss. I didn't have a water bucket though. Did I have a regular bucket? I have iron, so that works too. And we're just going to change this 
be more of a lush greenery. It's funny how the grass doesn't exactly match because it's the, the Sakura Grove, you know? Now, this side doesn't need to be all of the moss. We want this to be dirt because this is where our crops are gonna be. So this section right here will stay as, as just grass and like dirt. And then we'll put the water sources in there, but this is the sections that I want to kind of fill out. That works out. All right, now I want to grab a water bucket, which we have a crafting table, so let's just do that. We can put all our sakadas away. We'll throw a snowball, so it's just not in our inventory anymore. And uh, let's see. We need iron. Make a bucket. We'll bring two buckets. And I'm pretty sure there's just some water up here, which works out great. It's nice that there are these ponds around here. I do appreciate the little ponds. Very convenient. Now let's first make this go away. Oh man, I don't know how I did that, but I accidentally used up two of my buckets, and that is a bummer. But that is okay. And that's pretty much all of it, so that actually worked exactly how I wanted it to, so that's great. And then we can put some light sources in with some carpets. We'll just take some moss here really quick. And we are going to fill in these blocks underneath. I think it'll just look a lot better. See, that just looks way better. And since the rest of this is just covered in the, the granite, I don't need to worry about the other ones, but for these, we're just gonna spot fill. And then I will need to make a hoe because we're gonna have the water be there and then put dirt there. And then we're gonna come up here and grab more water. And I think we'll only need three. We'll see about if we need to have any more, but I think this should be good. So we've got you, put that there. We've got you, put that there. Now I don't use the hose a lot, but I do know for a fact that from leveling up our toolsmith, we have a bunch of diamond hose, which will be great to just use. But look at this, it's looking so nice. And if I just do kind of like an aerial view, it feels nice to kind of like be completing the circle. And then what we'll end up doing is we'll just expand out onto this hill. So kind of coming and doing like a second tier around it. But I think it looks really cool that we kind of just have this area coming together with just paths and builds. This one is a little bit further set because I do plan to put some other things here that will kind of help it fit together, but it looks really pretty from far away. I love that. It kind of feels like we've been, in, we've, how long have we been in this world? We've been in this world for 346 days, but it feels like for the amount of time we don't have too many builds. Maybe that's just me thinking that but I do like how much we've gotten done. Like I like all the builds. Part of me thinks like there should be more just by looking at it, but you know, it's, it's all working out. We'll, we'll be making more builds as we go. It'll be great. But yeah, look at this. So many dash <laughs> toes. Uh, hi guys. Sorry to, you know, just say hi and bye and like keep you here. I need to fix this also. My staircase is very just Oh, are we? Oh, we're, we're stocked, oh my. Um, where did I put, did I put a crafting table in here? Oh, I guess I didn't. Well, there needs to be a crafting table in here. Where are you, where are you dying? Oh, there's some other cave thing I don't have figured out yet. Oh, that's such a bummer. Oh, well. Now if I take iron, we have the blocks. 
we go like so. We have so many poppies, holy moly. We'll just make a bunch of these blocks, just fix up our iron farm really quick. I do have enough iron to where I could just kind of block off the zombies so that they're not really uh, doing anything else. So they're not gonna keep creating iron for us. But we'll just, we'll just fix this up real quick. And then we go here, here. Okay, so they're still going in there. They're getting stuck somewhere else, but it's not as big of a deal. Okay, we've got the blocks. Oh yeah, yeah, so many poppies, my goodness gracious. And then we'll just fix this up. We can bone meal all our poppies. And then we'll just kind of scatter these. We can sell a lot of flowers, I will say that. Okay. That's good for now. We've got our hoe and we are kind of helping keep the... I think I had a drawer, yes. We had a drawer for all our little, little flowers. You know, we could make a bunch of fields of flowers, like straight up fields. I feel like making fields though is kind of like a whip thing, you know, like always making a field of something. But it could look really pretty to just have like fields of things, you know? Now I also want there to be flowers in here so that the bees come over, right? So I think what we're gonna do is we're gonna leave those ones as is. I might even put some other little, little flowers or things there, but let's try putting some flowers on this side. Just so that it kind of makes us have some bees hopefully start going over there. And we'll do another yellow one. That way we can have the bees pollinating our little plants. And then we'll leave this alone, so this is the only spot. But I think it's nice, and then we'll just kind of section up some of the crops. So we're gonna see if I have any crops that I can just immediately add into here. I'm looking for just carrots. How about potatoes? Neither. Okay, we check, we check our actual house. I think I still just left a bunch of straight like potatoes, carrots, like all of those things in here. So we'll check in here. Carrots and no potatoes. Interesting. I, th I th think at least we have some like seeds We can use that but I thought I had potatoes Maybe I never did Maybe I'm just thinking that I had them But what could be nice is if we bring some pumpkins over I'm not gonna bring a bunch because the the place is already kind of filled but we've got wild carrots Ooh, it could be fun to just have some of those on the outside. That could be really pretty. Corn. We could also try having corn. That could be cool. Onions. We've got we got little options. Very cute. I wish I could find the potatoes though. Like I I thought I had more potatoes. I'm just so confused. Like <laughs> where are the potatoes? Oh wait, hang on. What am I saying? I have a garden of them. I've got a garden of them. I couldn't remember if I had carrots or potatoes over here, but I'm pretty sure it's all of my nice little potatoes. 
we'll just take a snooze again. Now... <gasps> Potato! Yes! Okay. We do have to replant. Oh, the potatoes look so cute when they're all, like, harvested. I love that. They're so pretty with the flowers. Okay. There we go. I think that should be more than enough potatoes. Hi, little burb. Hello, how are you? I hope you are good. I think the birds are so fun. And I like the idea also, I was just thinking. I just stepped in pollen back there. I think adding some pollen into here would look really pretty, just more particles. So we're definitely gonna see about doing that. Now let's do this section be potatoes. And then we can have some wheat over here. And then let's put actually a, a little pumpkin there. We can put a light on it. And then I wanna put a hay bale like right here. Oh, I don't like them being like next to each other. Maybe we put the hay bale like right here. Yeah, and then the potatoes can go there. Then it's a little bit staggered. Then we have some carrots. And some wild carrots, which I can't put down. But I can put some out here. Oh yeah, so cute. Oh my gosh, I'm obsessed. So pretty. Now I have bone meal. So we'll just bone meal these up. Where's our fortune pick? Try to get a few more carrots out of the bunch. We got three rows there, three rows there, and we'll have some more wheat around there. And then we can have some pumpkins and things kind of scattered like so to kind of fit the crop vibes. I really like that too. I think that looks really nice. All right, so the crops are sorted. Then we need to have our beekeeper friend move in over here and we will move their bed with them. So maybe some of the ground will turn into a place for them to sleep and that'll be what we end up doing. So we'll move our beekeeper over and then we will also go and grab ourselves a farmer and make a composter for them. And then we can have our little friends over here. Also, I don't know how this cow got out, but we're just gonna stick them back in their little pen there. Hello, my friend. Thank you for coming with me. Now, I wanna make sure I keep the silk touch. I think it's fine if I just like pick this up. It's not like a huge deal. But I just don't want to mess with it. So we grabbed that. We'll fill this in. And then we'll bring our friend over. And I do want to have beds inside the greenhouse for our friends. So we might disguise one of the beds in the wheat field with like yellow. A, like a yellow bed hiding behind the wheat. I feel like that's probably the best like bet, you know. So we might do this right here. And then if we just get a little bit of bone meal. Look at that. You would never even know there's a bed back there, but it's there. Yeah, look at that. That's so good. Oh, perfect. Love it. Wonderful. Now, the other thing I do want to do is I want to put a campfire under all of these. And I need logs for that. So if I type in campfire... We can make one and we'll just put that under here for now and we'll put the little guy right there also i really want that block okay 
Now we add in the villager. There you go, buddy. No, you stay. You can find the bed. You can find your job station. Yes, hello, hello. Welcome to your new area. I'm gonna add lots of bees in here, so don't worry, okay? Lots of bees will be inside here. We'll have little butterflies. It'll look beautiful. Don't worry about it. Just let me um, leave you in there for now. <laughs> All right, let us go and grab ourselves another villager and then we'll come back and we'll make a composter and then we'll have our two little friends in there. So let's do my main village. Hello guys, how's it going? And I see an unsuspecting friend up here, not in green. I see this one. You you saw nothing. Dion just walks up to me like, you know, people call me dumb, but I don't think you, you are aware of what you just done. I'm very aware. All right, I'm grabbing some other flowers while we're here, just because there's a bunch of different options in this like meadowy area, which is kind of cool. A little pretty meadow. Oh, and we can come and we can catch some butterflies here too, which is perfect. I think adding some sunflowers would be pretty as well. Oh my gosh, this is my dog. <laughs> Hi, bud, how are you? I'm so sorry, I love, forgot about you. Wait, hello? Wait, hang on. The owner is someone different. Kubek, if you look in the top left, you have a different owner? What, is that, a, is that in a Minecraft player? Like, how does that work? Bruh! What? Okay, maybe it's the, the dev. That's super interesting. Okay. Didn't expect that to be the case but i guess sure kind of checks out like you make it you keep some dogs in the world oh my gosh we can put a hamster in a thing too <laughs> that would be so cute hi buddy hello i like your little tail it's so cute hi bud they're so adorable i love the little dudes little dudes are so cute okay oh hang on did i actually already like Get you leveled up? I did not, but I want your composter. And I will take this back because this was mine. Ooh, if you're in here, I'm gonna grab you. Well, you just spawned or something. Holy moly, hello. But there's two bees in here, so I'm gonna grab some of these bees. There's three bees in here. I'm gonna grab this one as well. So we've got some bees, and that'll be great, because then we can just breed some of them up. We're getting all the goodies to fill up our whole space. It's very exciting. And then uh, my home, we're going back home. Okay, now we go over here. And I don't need to make a composter, so that's even nicer, honestly. All right, I do want the dirt in my offhand just because this dude's gonna try to escape again, which I don't want you to escape. All right, so we've got a composter, so we'll put that there. And then we'll let you out. There we go, Zana, welcome. Wait, there's peanuts? Avocados! <gasps> I can grow an avocado. Hang on, I want an avocado. Not exactly the best first trade, but like, can I plant this? Can I eat this? Can I plant this? It was an avocado. I want to I wanna use the avocado. <laughs> That's so cool. What the heck? All right. Well, we've got the bees for now. Um, That's so, so cool. What the heck? Okay, and then the bee nests and hives we'll just put along here just sporadically, and we'll leave them for now. I'm going to make some more campfires. Can I make another one or am I out of something? Oh, we're missing coal. All right, well, we've got coal other places. I wanna know what I can do with an avocado. That's so fun. Oh my word, so cool. 
All right, now as far as this goes, put that there, put that there, and then this guy has a little smoke. Now we'll give them some flowers. Hi guys, yes, yes. And we'll take these out. I think I have some of these in here. Yep, we've got more flowers. Oh no, they're trying to both sleep, I'm sorry. Are there two of you? Let's breed you guys up. There we go. Some more little friends. So we got plenty of flowers. Alright, and if we take a little look-see. Look at that! It's coming together. I love it. Then we take a snooze. And then... We need to grab some more campfire materials. That's what we're gonna do. All right, we need coal. So we're grabbing some coal. We'll close this for now and coal. Oh, I guess charcoal works. That should be enough. Now we can start making some campfires, which I always forget that I can just use this thing for it too. So let's grab a campfire. We can make at least three. This should be good. And the other thing I want to do is I want to be able to go find some of our more, I guess, modded crops. Because I think having some vegetables that are modded, like our tomatoes or our cabbage, or honestly, I can't even remember how many other ones we've found. But I think that would just be really nice to add. So, let's see here. We've got flax. That could be interesting to grow. We've got some cucumbers. Okay. Melons. We've got cabbage. That's what I was hoping for. And some rice. I thought we had tomatoes for some reason, but I guess we don't. Onions create some really pretty flowers, so I think that would be a super fun one to add in. But I... I think, I wonder if I can make this into a, uh, the seed of an apricot? No, I can't. Okay. If I type in promenade, because what if we could make a really pretty, like, tree or something? Ooh, these wood tones. <gasps> okay. The palm with the sakura and maple. <gasps> and this gray, dark amaranth. Wow. This is so cool. <gasps> okay. These are just beautiful. What the heck? I love these colors together. But let's try adding the at symbol. So we've got a mango. Oh my gosh, and a banana. This is so cute. It doesn't look like there's actually any like food here. So I think this looks like a nether thing or end thing. So I guess the apricots we don't do much with. They're just there to look cool, I suppose. But we've got some campfires, so let's try putting our little seeds. Did I only have one cabbage seed? Oh, let's take all of our cabbage seeds. Did I have any others? Just laying about. I don't think I did. Interesting. Okay. Okay. Then let's put the flax. And then we have our regular just carrots and potatoes that we can add in. I feel like that's all I really want to. Maybe we'll bring some blueberries. That could be cool. We'll bring some uh, blueberries with us. And of course, we'll uh, quickly take a little sleep. Some other things I want to add in are some more of the, the bumble zone blocks. I think those will be really cool. But we'll grab those later. Let's first get some things done and decorated on the side with our farmer. Hi, Mr. Enderman. And I don't want them to escape. So we'll cover that up. Okay. So we've got some potatoes growing. We've got carrots and wheat. So it's all kind of coming together. They're harvesting them. Let's see. 
peanuts. I love how you can get avocados. Literally, that's like the funnest little thing ever. I probably shouldn't have uh, locked them in with avocado and peanuts as the trade. I should have probably done a more uh, classic trade, like, you know, wheat and, and carrots and potatoes. But um, you're you're mostly in here for, for the vibes, so I guess that's okay. That is okay in my book. All right, so I think if we put flax against the wall, I've heard that it can get pretty tall. So I feel like having that against the wall would be good. We also could actually put some outside. We could get some crops growing outside as well. I think that would probably look good. And I know, yeah, see we have our little wild carrots. And I'm pretty sure, yeah, there's the water source. So if I were to plant some flax, we have some cucumbers. What did I just plant? Oh, cabbage. Okay, I'm glad I can get the seeds back. We'll plant the flax here. We'll plant the cabbage. And then we can maybe see about adding in a little, like, group of some blueberries that could be fun i don't want to put any berries inside the uh the little greenhouse because i have a feeling that these guys would just trample them and hurt themselves and i don't want that to happen but we've got some crops and we can get rid of some of these let's just move these out of the way and we can get some more water, make another little little spot. And then I think I just want to like add some more crops out front, but I want to look pretty. So we can kind of like hide them, right? So if we do like this. Oh no, I can't do that with Podzol. Okay. Well, I guess we're just converting all of this at this very moment. <laughs> this is what we're choosing to do. I did waste some of my blueberries, I am aware. It is a little sad, but you know, we make sacrifices for the sake of pretty things sometimes. Okay. And then we'll swap out these. I'm glad that Podsol actually changes into other blocks. Just so that I don't have to deal with having just Podsol in my inventory, you know? Like, I'll only get Podsol if I have Silk Touch, which is kind of nice, you know? You're not just stuck with it. Alright, well, let's put the onions there. I think the carrots also get some really pretty blocks, so maybe... We can like add some in over here. And we won't do a whole ton, but just like a little bit. I think it'll look really pretty to just have some kind of decorative little guys. And then you can kind of tell like this is the side that's going to have all of our crops because there's crops on the inside and the outside. And then this side, I wanna have some more like bee related things outside as well. But for now, we will just leave this bee. Ooh, wild corn. I wanted to plant the corn. Yeah, look at the wild corn. I don't know if this actually grows, but uh, we're just gonna go with it. We're just, oh, I guess you get stuck in blueberries. Okay, good to know. Now I'm free, but I feel like I don't know if the corn's gonna grow. Some of these I'm a little unsure about, but I just wanted to see in case. Now we've got some campfires. Let's quickly go inside here. Oh, look at all our little bees. Oh, they're growing, growing so big. I'm so proud of them. Um, Villager, you wanna move? I know, Ruben, you're taking care of the bees, but like I'm trying to work with fire here, so I don't want you getting in the way or anyone else getting in the way all right okay thank you all right so now what we can do is if i had bottles in my inventory we could scoop up the honey and then we can get extra honey for you just 
Wait, you just sheared that. <gasps> I'm gonna be competing with Robot. I didn't know he could do that. Oh my goodness. I mean, that is kind of cool. I didn't know you could do that, Ruben. I guess I need to be, um... I have to pay more attention to our... Our honey. <laughs> interesting, interesting. Now, the other thing I want to do is I do want to go and grab some of the bee nests. And not just have a bunch of the... Just straight hives i think it'll look really nice if i can get some of the bee nests because i just like the colors that they bring i also think just some hay bales will look nice here and we'll put that there now oh hi ow actually you kind of helped me out i didn't end up trampling my crops because you yeeted me a little bit forward that that worked out pretty well um, so even though you got me shot, um, thank you. But let's see here. Silk touch. Let's put these things in our... Where'd you go? Oh, I see you. Bum, bum, ba -dum. Oh, hit the rock instead. Wow, my aim today. There we go. There's the, the aim working well. Oh, that's so interesting. You weren't even, like, in the water to get saved. You were just kind of hiding around hiding about i guess that works i'll take more bones okay but our mission is to get some of the bee nests hi ants how's it going today how are you hope you're doing well <laughs> i love how they kind of just like talk to me i think that's just like the cutest thing um oh i have one piece of food left um We'll take some golden carrots into our inventory. I was kind of wondering if I had extra food on hand since I'm gonna run everywhere, but some golden carrots should help. I also was hoping that our farmer, I don't, what the? Oh, it's you guys? Oh no, I do, I hate you guys. Oh no. Oh, you hit your own little dude there. That's unfortunate. Got him. Sniped that dude. I don't. I don't like those guys. I'm. I'm not a fan. I. I want the stuff, but not that badly. Also, why do they just always come around my area? That's like I don't know. Guys, do you know how many times it's been that we've seen the guys with the like throwing axes come to our house? Oh, you're a bee. Where's your house? Hi, buddy. Hello. I feel like they've come to our house at least four times. Three to four for sure. And it's, um, it's, it's a little bit annoying. I don't think I'm as afraid of them, though. Like, I'm in diamond armor now. You know, I don't need to be as scared of them. Oh, here we go. Here we go. You want to go in your little house there? 1B, you want to go in your home? You want to go in... Oh, and there's another one. Okay, good. You want to go in your house? Yeah? You want to go in your home? Two bees instead of just one? Go in your house. Yeah, go in your house. That That's not going in your house, so okay. How about this one? Any bees? 1B, I'll take 1B. I think I want to grab maybe like three in total should be good. We'll kind of just see where we're at. Zero bees, but lots of honey. Ooh, the bottoms are cool. I never really paid attention to the bottoms. Oh, I'm sorry. Do you want to go in your home? Oh, I guess that works. Two bees. Does it tell me? Bee nest, bee nest, bee nest. It does not tell me. That's, that's not very helpful, but all right. Oh, there was another one. Zero bees. We'll leave some of them in the wild. You know, I don't want to completely take away all the bees. I want them to still pollinate this area. You know, have a good time. I also think I'm going to grab some of these cherry leaves because I love these particles. And having those inside the greenhouse will be so pretty. We're going to have all of the colored particles. We're going to have the yellow pollen. I really want to find a spore blossom. I just don't know where 
a lush cave is, but actually we can solve that. Let's try this mod here. So if I click and I type in lush, lush Aurora cave. Oh, that's in the end. Oh, I don't want to do that. Overworld lush caves, lush smaragent. Interesting. Okay. This is the overworld cave. So let's start the search. Oh, we're like fairly close to one. Can I like teleport there? Oh, do you have a little egg? Do you have a little friend? Nope. Okay. All right. Um, I'm gonna sleep to keep myself safe. I don't know where those pillager guys went, but I'm a little nervous. But what is nice to know is that now we can officially just use the nature compass and teleport places. And then we can just teleport home because as long as we can see it on the map, we can get home just fine, which was a actually huge discovery. I don't need to actually have a waystone for everything. As long as my map has it rendered, I can teleport there. And like, I can't teleport to the unknown places, but any of these places I've been already, I can just teleport straight there, which is super cool because that means we can just teleport to an adventure in the Woodland Mansion, whatever this ominous thing is, the, these like villages that are kind of hiding in here. This weird looking cross section-y thing, like I can just teleport there and we can go on adventures, which I think that's huge, personally. Okay, where did they go? I think they're gone. I don't see them. I think they're not here. I think I'm okay. Alright. Well, now we can get our little beehives in place. I'll keep my steak on my inventory, but we can put our beehives in. And I think I like the idea of also having one of the beehives be outside just so that it kind of just feels a little bit more like fully immersed, not just having the interior be a certain way, but we're going to start with them being on the inside. Okay, so then pop one there. Let's pop one here. Maybe one there. And there. Nice. Now I need to have the campfires fully kind of boxed in so these guys don't end up hurting themselves, which is very important. And I think where I've placed them, we should be good. And what's also nice is Ruben can only get these two. I don't think he can shear these these two. I know for sure that's not within his reach either, so I think we'll be okay. But I am curious to just try this nature's compass. But first, I would like to just spend a little bit of time. Ah, oh, I thought I was going to grab that. Fine. I just want to grab some azalea leaves, some things like that, to see what we've got here. We don't have a whole lot, but it should work. Now, we could use the chains for something. The chains were going to go on the roof, which we had not finished fully. So I think we could grab some of the sakura. I think we should uh, finish the actual exterior before we start just going around on everything else. So then we've got these palisades and oh, it's two logs like that. Okay, well then we definitely need some more. So let's just get these all stacked. We've got our good pickaxe, we'll use this and then we'll hop up on top of there with our cobblestone but we'll grab everything else we'll need with Sakura. Sakura, oh, it looks like I need to actually do some sapling growing. Fair enough. We'll get some bone meal, some bone meal. 
some more bone meal. I keep forgetting that I can do it this way. I need to remember that. It works. It works great. All right. Now we get a bunch of bone meal. Oh, hello. And then we come over here. Get around here. And then we should just be able to break it. I take it back. It's not working how I wanted it to. Interesting. This time it's really not chopping. Oh, it's because I interfered with the block, I bet. Me just clearing away one of the uh, the leaves, I think, like, erases. Oh, oh, I take it back. I don't understand that, but all right. We'll, we'll take it anyways. Not fully understood, but that's fine. Did that go in? It went inside my little place. Oh my goodness. Oh, we get some nice... There we go. Some nice rain vibes. Alright, this should be more than enough Sakura. Alrighty. So we've got these in place. So now we can kind of just start stacking up. And I'll just let you enjoy some relaxing vibes with the rain. And we're gonna place... Let's go here, then here, here, and here. Gotta remove this one. There we go. And we keep stacking up.
yeah, this place is looking so good, guys. I definitely think adding the little palisades with the chains makes a huge difference. I'm very happy with it. These are a great little tool. I think it just adds some height and dimension and that's what I was hoping would be the case. So it's always fun when the thing you think will actually make a, like a big difference on the build does instead of just coming across as like, it's definitely like a little detail, but I think it does a really good job doing what it's supposed to, just like adding some fancy kind of height to this place. I'm really happy with it. Now, the biggest thing we still have to do is a lot of the decoration on the interior and the exterior with leaves. That's the main thing that we're gonna be working on next. And for all of this bone meal, I feel like I just need to put these guys into more condensed blocks. Like so. Just getting some extras. Perfect, okay. So that feels a little bit better now that it's all condensed. Okay, now we've still got some of the Sakura. I do want to use some and make some fence posts. Which, I'm trying to remember how this goes. Is it like so? We want fence gates. So we're going like this. Like so. And I want to use two here. Like that, because then they can't get in. This will be our like temporary thing. I want to make that spruce door. But for now, this will just be a little bit easier while we're waiting to get the, the other things that we want. Now, let's see here. We've got our little avocado, which I think is really cute. What can I do with an avocado? Is there anything I can do? Oh, no way. I can make an avocado toast. Wait, wait, wait. I must, I must know. Hang on. If I buy a few from you, Will you make you'll you'll feed me avocado toast? This must be explored for science. If I can make an avocado toast, I'm gonna be the happiest little person. Nice, these are normal trades again. <laughs> Alright, so pumpkin farm, I think will be an order that will probably be the easiest thing. But now I'm like curious. Like, do I have wheat? Now I'm very curious. Like, that's so cool. Okay. Well, we need a lot of leaves next, so I guess we can, like, put a lot of this back. We'll just put a lot of these things back temporarily. Don't need more campfires. But let's just try to put as many things back as we can. Alright, we still don't have enough, but we do have some chests. So we'll leave some of these things here for now. All right, and then we're gonna put everything back into storage. I'm gonna grab some wheat so we can make some bread and test this out. Cause making avocado toast sounds so cute. All right, put these away, put these away. I'm literally like so excited for this. That sounds so cool. Put those away, these away. And grab these guys and then put these things all away. Buckets. We'll keep the Sakura, we'll keep these. Now, if I type in Azalea, we've definitely got enough. And then let's see. I think that's all that I wanted. Did I have any piles of honey? No, just piles of leaves. Okay. But let's get some wheat out. Oh my gosh, can I actually make this? Okay. We must, we must see. Wait. Oh, it's the seed. That checks out. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh, oh my gosh, oh my gosh, oh my gosh. We've got avocado toast. We've got avocado toast. <laughs> 
I love this. This is so cute. Can I put this down somewhere? No, I can eat it though. Are we ready to eat some avocado toast? Oh yeah. No like buffs or anything, but let's see how much it does for our health. Just two. I kind of want to live off avocado toast. That just sounds fun. <laughs> Cultural delights fabric. Okay, let's look at this. Can I make some other cool thing? That's like hilarious. Creamed corn, chicken tacos. Oh my gosh, rice balls. <gasps> Tropical roll, we can make sushi. Ooh, this, this will be fun. A chicken roll. Oh wow, wow, lots of things. Kelp, a beetroot. Okay, not gonna lie. These look really cool. Oh, we can make an avocado tree. <gasps> I think I want to make an avocado tree. Cucumber crate, a pickle crate, a corn cob crate, an eggplant crate. My goodness. Lots of just sushis and things. Tortilla chips. That's so cool. Tortillas. Oh my gosh. Corn dough. <gasps> That's so cool. Oh my gosh. Popcorn. We can roast the popcorn. This is so cool. I, I love these like mods that let you do this. Like that's so fun. Oh my goodness. Uh, I don't have any more wheat. Um, What if I do like hay bales? Oh, look at all that wheat. All right. Let's do this. I want avocado toast. Is this this is my new food source guys this is where we have come we have become an avocado toast enthusiast that is that is what i will live off of i kind of just want to say like that's my new food source but i know realistically that won't be the case <laughs> i'll probably end up just getting bored at some point and eating other things all right now we're gonna make some shears because these are about to break and then we'll start adding some leaves inside we'll start with the, the almost broken ones and then once we get this in place we can add some more of the piles of pollen so let's stack up here And then we'll just kind of trail some of these around. I know that these are like the flowering ones, so they're definitely attracted to this right now, but I'm okay with that. So we go like so. Like this. And I want to make sure I leave some of the... Uh, the other ones, the flowering ones for later. I could just make more, honestly. Like we could just as easily do that, which might honestly be the case. But I just wanted to have some leaves starting to traipse down a little bit more. I think that'll just make it look much nicer. Except I can't do this. And then we'll just get some down around here. The bees are following me. I love them so much. They're so cute. And look at them by the flowers. They're so adorable. Ugh, I love it. Bees are just so cute. We're definitely gonna need to go get more azaleas to decorate this because I want this to feel very lush very overgrown and the best way to do that is actually have a ton of azalea leaves which we have a decent amount but not as many as i was kind of thinking would be a good fit for this environment but it's definitely getting there it's gonna look good i'm excited oh no i broke a crop not what i wanted to do Wait, what do you mean there's a monster nearby? Where's the monster? Oh, okay, zombies underground, maybe? We'll just go sleep on the other side. 
You know, we just ignore our problems and everything works out. <laughs> okay. Yeah, we're gonna just go collect up some more of the uh, azalea. And then let's just mix some of these in here. Oh, interesting that you like the cherry leaves. Oh, never mind. Wait, maybe you do? Oh, I guess you don't. Interesting. You guys were faking me out. And then we'll get particles. Hee <laughs> hee. Yay. There we go. Nothing like some good pink particles blended in. And I think I want to use the Sakura to be my pillaring block over here, just because it's easier to keep all of my, my greenery. Yeah, this, this is going to look nice. And then if I take a step out... Yeah, and the pink cherry blossom leaves also blend into the Sakura Grove. So I think that looks really good. We're also gonna put leaves on the outside. The exterior is going to make it look even more overgrown, which I'm very excited about. Hi guys. Oh, oh, I guess you do like these, don't ya? Didn't expect that, but very cute. Just, I don't wanna hit you. I'm always just so paranoid I'm gonna hit them. Just always so paranoid. All right, and jump a little further. Go right here, and go right there. Now let's go get some more. We also need to go get our special little, uh, door how do you uh, make oh this is what I wanted okay so I'm using this as a blockade so that they can't get out of that spot because what I want to do is Add in a door, and once I have a door, they're gonna want to come out, so I need to be careful. Okay. Put the other things away. Emeralds. And. Uh... Ooh, we still have more azaleas. Lovely. Azaleas. Let's actually take these ones. And then put these on the outside. I literally forgot what I was gonna grab. Spruce. I just had to like stare at it to be like, what was I going for? What did I want to grab? And then we go to our carpenter's workbench, fix our doors up, and we're good to go. This was the door that I wanted to use because then it's just very open. I think it will work wonderfully. Alright, then if we go outside, see, look at that, it works really well. You can't really tell too much because I set it in a little bit, but I think that looks really good. And then this allows me to finish adding in the Sakura to the exterior and interior a little bit faster. I don't need to collect quite as much.
And we'll go up a little bit further. I'm just trying to make this like very overgrown. Just put the leaves literally everywhere. We spam azalea leaves. On uh, Frog Crafting's bio, it says that uh, their personality is just oak leaf, like spamming oak leaves. And I feel like my personality is spamming azalea leaves. <laughs> I think it's so funny. I, yeah, her bio is really clever. I think it's great. But I always just like think about that if I'm like spamming leaves. I'm like, yeah, that's that's what I, I do. Just all the leaves all the time. And it's just the best. Put a little bit here. And then we'll jump down. Then we can have some just climbing around and about. What is kind of cool is if I make some kind of like dangle down, you know? So then this. There's just like leaves kind of hanging down more. I think that looks really nice. And then we're going to take, did I leave any bone meal in my inventory? I did not. Oh wait, hang on, that's bone meal. So then we'll bone meal these guys. And look at that, it's looking good. Okay, now we need the shears. We're trying to get all those pink ones to do the exterior. And then that's about as good as we get, so we'll just get rid of that. Plant the next one, and let me see if I plant it down here. Because if I plant it here, does it not wanna go because this is here? Hello? Are you okay, Mr. Tree? Okay, you're fine. Just being a little impatient. I guess I was not wanting to wait until you were ready. Okay. Chop this. And let's see where we're at. I think that should be good. So let's just start on the roof now, shall we? And we'll use some of these. So we'll pillar up with the logs and then we'll just start placing the azaleas. to have some leaves in my offhand like so. And I'm going to use them to kind of help me jump my way up places as well when I'm having kind of difficulties. Okay, and then let's see how that looks. I like it. We'll add some more in between here, but I think as far as a second layer, I want it to kind of like drape around. So I'm going like so. Oh, that is not the right block. Like so. Like so. And then you can see about going like so. Oh, ow. Yeah, I think that looks nice. Mm. 
and up we go. Then this spot here I wasn't a big fan of, so we're gonna just tweak it a little bit. Let's go right here. I keep on doing that where I just like jump off. Cardboard box. I unlocked a backpack. How did I unlock a backpack? Someone help. <laughs> Wait, there's a mammoth? I am with this golem, a desert rhino. I don't like, these are kind of scary. These are all about like mobs to defeat basically. End in ring. Click on this quest to view the description. End in ring. Oh gosh. Um, so we have a new biome. To create the portal to Eden Ring. What is this? I'm so interested. Well, I guess we can, uh, we have a new kind of place to visit. Interesting. That's a lot of copper. Okay, well, that could be another adventure. Let me know if this sounds interesting to go explore. You light the gold block with the flint and steel to activate it. I have no idea. That's like as little context as one could possibly provide about an entire new dimension. Just saying like, yeah, build it this way. That's it. <laughs> just, just build it this way. It'll be great. <laughs> Not ominous at all. Just, just, yeah, build it. Very curious. And up we go. Jumping up our blocks. And then... This is a little bit just like straight up and down over here. So I think if we kind of just like add some others on the sides, it will help. So then if we go out like so. Yeah, that works. I like that. And then we'll move on to... I'm making sure I get the front first because that's probably the area I will neglect the most. So the intention is to decorate the exterior on the front of it first. And then whatever I have left, you know, we can make that be for more of the, the back side of it. There we go, just a bunch of leaves. Then we jump over here. Oh, I'm stuck. I'm stuck again. Okay, there we go. I'm getting stuck again. Oh, no. Okay, I'll jump up first. Maybe that will help. There we go, all the way up. And down on this side. And on the back side, that looks nice. Front side, this looks nice. I know I was just saying I'm not gonna worry about the back until I get the front done, but sometimes, you know, a quick little, little bunch of vines just, just fits and looks so good. Okay. Now let's, oh, I can put sticks down. That's hilarious. Not putting sticks down. I'm trying to put leafies down. And let's go this way. And I think that 
looks good. Now we'll just bring these down in the front. So let me just jump and jump. Haha, -ha, I actually made it on the pillar. Look at that. My skills. All right, now let's drag these down a bit. Drag that down a bit. Can I like shear this? Nope, I guess not. And then we'll put that over here. The blueberries make you like slow. Oops. Did not mean to do that. Sorry. Jumping up here. And up here. And down the side. And now we're kind of working onto the back just because of whatever we have left can work well for this. And then if we go like so, come over here. Just like that, hop up here. We can kind of like have it trail a little bit. And jump here. Jump up here. the top and then if I step back ooh, that looks good and then the front oh yeah now let's go grab some of the more B type little uh, resource blocks I think that would be kind of fun to use just gotta parkour my way up and around find my my little platform it's over here Oh no, I was just able to get up with the crops. The little plants. Okay, so this is looking very overgrown. Now the next thing that we need, we need light sources and more bee items. So I'm just going to temporarily put these things in my backpack just to clear up some space so that I can add some more things into it. I love how I have my little avocado toast. It's so fun. <laughs> in real life, Usually one of my main breakfasts that I will make is I will make avocado toast and I'll put a fried egg on it. And that's probably one of my favorite simple yet really healthy and just very tasty breakfasts. So in real life, I'm a big avocado toast person. So it's kind of fun that we can um, incorporate that into the world. So we'll take some of these, we'll take some extra pollens, and I'm going to put these up here for now. And then, let's see, do I have anything else over here? Nope. Alright, and then we need some lanterns. And I'm trying to decide if I think regular lanterns would look good in here. I think that it fits the vibe better because we have more of the the iron so i think i'm gonna take more iron out of my inventory we can put these away these away the sticks the flower and then let's do grabbing these things out of the inventory adding those things putting those away and then, did I keep any lanterns? Oh, we have the copper ones. I don't think this is the style, though, that I'm kind of looking for. So I don't think we're going to go with these. But they are pretty cute. I just don't think it fits that vibe. I feel like having the gray from the lanterns is going to look the best. But I do know that Chipped has one of these tables that I think we can use the lanterns with. 
So I'm curious if I just type in lanterns. Now see, there's some of these, these wide lanterns, these different ones. I think we can just take them all, make them look cool. I'm pretty sure, I don't know if it's, okay, it does say the tinkering table. So if I make the tinkering table, do we add chipped again? Tinkering table, spruce log, TNT, slabs, piston, redstone. Okay. I think we have TNT. So we'll grab one. We'll grab redstone. We'll make a torch. We'll make, um, I think I used all my pistons. So how do I make a piston? Piston. All right, all right, all right, all right. How do we make a piston? So it's planks, cobblestone, iron, and redstone. Okay, so if I do another redstone, I only need one. So then if we have the piston, we've got full on planks, redstone, and cobblestone. And then if I do cobble, we've got some of that. And we've got some planks, so do we have everything we need? Yes, so we can make this. And then I think it's just slabs. So I think we're good now. Oh my gosh, it just makes it from our inventory. Oh, that's so nice. I love that. Alright, so if I do the tinkering... Oops, I don't need tinkering. I need chipped mob. We'll make the tinkering table. I go like so. We need the piston and the redstone torch. Fair enough. All right. Oh, I meant to do a stick. Yep, totally know what I'm doing. Yep, yep, yep. Totally know what I'm doing. Yes. And I almost made a piston, except I didn't. So we've got this, we've got a piston. So we make one of those, and then, if you notice, it's keeping what I was in the process of building so that I can just grab it and build. Now, it's, it's night, so I'm just gonna put this outside, and then we're gonna take a nap outside, because that's the only space I have. Now, the lanterns are one of the last things that I'm gonna work on, so we're going to grab... Let's see, let's make some basic lanterns and then we can kind of make some new ones. So if we use this, we need a bunch of little nuggies. I think I had some, yeah, I had some right here. So if we have a bunch of nuggies like so, I can make at least five. And then if I make some more right here, we can put those in the center again and make even more. Now, let's see, I don't need these copper ones and everything else can go back for now. I am curious, however, to see how the little tinkering table works with the lanterns. Like, which ones can I make? Ooh, okay, we got a tall lantern. Let's see how that one looks. So here's our default one. Here's the tall lantern. I think those could look really cool in here, not gonna lie. And if we grabbed, let's see if I can make chains. We've got some chains here. If we've got some iron, we can grab some iron. And then if we make a few little chains, like so, then we can hang them from the ceiling. But I think, oh did not want to break the house but let's start uh, putting some little lanterns about we'll try more of these ones we could try a donut one see how those look yeah not as big a fan so I think instead uh, we'll keep these tall ones and let's just do that to more of them. 
And let's uh, let's add them in. We'll bring our chipped workbench with us. And while we listen to the rain sounds, we'll just add in some lanterns to the inside of our area. We'll put our tinkering table up there. All right, but let's uh, let's get some built up in here.
Now with the nature's compass, we could go looking for that lush cave. I'm kind of curious to just test it out. So I think I want to try it out. We have some bread. We're out of avocados. So I think I, <laughs> I want to go buy avocados <laughs> so I can keep having this be my food source. But I'm going to eat up my last bit of steak. Now, as far as what else? Let me see here. B. Got B bread. Oh, we could smoke that. Um, I'm trying to think what else we'd want to add in here. And I don't really feel like there's too much left that I'm looking to add. I think I do want to have more bee nests on the outside. I think that'll look really nice. And I think we're going to add some... Oh, I already had some bone meal. There we go some bone meal around the outside as well now we could also see about adding in some of the just composters on the outside but i think having probably some more fire campfires and then figuring out a way to kind of protect them from our bees so the bees don't get hurt would be the ideal so I think I want to work on that, but I love how this these particles just get moved around as the villagers move around. Like, that is so beautiful. I am obsessed. Just so obsessed. It's so cozy in here, and the bees are so happy. It's just the best. Now, avocados. How many can I grab? Ooh, ten. Okay, perfect. We can make a lot of avocado toast now. And I think it was like so. Oh, look at all our avocado toast. It's so fun. And then we'll add in some bone meal. I don't want it to be like too high because I don't want it to distract from the fact that like we do have some crops here. So it's just going to be a little light bone mealing. Nothing too crazy. But even just looking back at this, I think this looks really pretty. I'm, I'm loving it. I think this is just turning out so good, but I do think that having some of the bee nests on the outside would really kind of give us the effect of, you know, what we're going for, that there's, there's bees in here. And the other thing I do want to do is I want to go gather up some little butterflies. And I think I want to make another capture cell so it's a bunch of iron bars, chests, and sticks. And I do plan to make a master one. So let's go make some of those. And then we'll grab butterflies. We'll go look for the lush cave for the spore blossom. And then we can go from there. So wait, did I see? Oh, there's chest plates. Oh, there's just, there's just cool things that I can't access right now. And I really wish that I could get them. But we've got some obsidian. We just need the chains. So if I do, let's see, what are they called? Bars? Yeah, we've got bars, sticks, then we need chests. Definitely enough chests, okay. So let's make some of these. I, I should be able to make more. And then, is it just this? Okay, that's simple enough. We're just gonna grab some butterflies. I like it. Okay, now I think the first thing I wanna go do is collect some of our butterflies. I think that'll be nice, just get that out of the way. And we'll also get our tinkering table now put up in our little spot. All right, now let's see what this looks like at night. The glow, that's so pretty. Does our map glow differently? Man, that's just so beautiful. I love it, but um, I, I love being alive more, so we're gonna sleep. And I do think it's super cool that I can kind of just use the, uh, the feature of the nature compass to kind of just go traveling wherever I want to travel. It's pretty neat. Hi, buddy. Hello. Excuse me. Okay. Running out of space. Let's move these and put that there. Perfect. Do you need some help? 
How about I put you on the floor? Is that helpful? Hopefully that helps you out. Maybe you won't get stuck if there's like things here. Will that help you a little bit? Hopefully it helps. All right, but let's put these away. And now we're gonna go use our compass. Find a lush cave, hopefully find ourselves. All right, we're gonna go for a lush. Lush caves in the overworld and Oh, I get nervous teleporting, but here we go. Oh, oh, okay. Um wait. Oh! There's a lush cave over here. Oh, look at that. What do you know? That's that's cool. I didn't realize it was right there. <laughs> I was kind of hoping for, you know, an easier way to get into the, the lush cave. Oh, that's the little uh, pillager spot we dug into. But okay, um, I guess we just go down. Can I use the vein miner? Oh gosh, a little scary. Okay. We're getting resources. I don't know how far I have to go to uh, end up actually seeing a lush cave. It's saying that I'm by one just above it, but like, I don't know about this. It seems a little bit sus. I feel like I'm being led astray. I don't know what to think. Oh, I take it back. Okay. Ink. Ooh, okay. Just a giant cave layer. Oh, an enderman, okay. Um, um, I'm gonna turn on my night viz, just cause I get paranoid. Hello? Oh boy, maybe? Oh, hi enderman. Oh wow, there's a lot of you down there. There's at least two. All right, maybe we take that off just so I can safely light these caves up. Whoa, where are you? Icicles, that's cool. Okay, um... Yeah, that's a lot uh, further down than I thought it would be. <gasps> oh, I almost just dropped myself down, that would've been bad. Okay, well at least I can now get a bunch of just good, um, good clay. Lots of clay I can access, this is good. Anything, we do anything for the spore blossoms, for the goodies. I'm a little bit nervous with these caves, I will admit. I do like it echoing though, it's just so atmospheric. Just spooky atmospheric. Bruh, why are you like following me? I don't need you to follow me. That doesn't make me feel safe. I appreciate if you're trying to kind of like bodyguard me, you know, like help me out, but uh, it's, it's not helping, I will say. All right, I don't need all of these. I want fortune, so I'm gonna put fortune here because I need lapis, so we're gonna grab some of that while we're here. Okay, we're in the cave now. And I need things to fill her up just in case I come across a baby zombie or anything, you know? You know, you gotta be prepared. Okay. All right, okay. It's interesting that there's like icicles down here too. Very curious. All right. Maybe we do want the shears. We don't need the axe though. Oh, so many things in the inventory. Okay. 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 All right. Now let's use this thing. Ow. Okay, interesting. 
watching. I'm a little nervous. I'm not see- Oh, wait, there's some spore blossom particles? Not a lot, though, so I'm kind of confused. Okay. And then we're just gonna grab all the clay that I possibly can manage to grab, just because I want, uh, some goodies. Are these petals? Oh, they're flowers. Cute. All right, there's some particles, but where are you? You have to be nearby because there is definitely oh, not not the vibes. Oh, oh my word, it was literally right here. Okay. Nice. Okay. Now it doesn't seem like there's really any other bits. Like, that just seems like a really small, lush cave. Like, is this really all we get? Just this tiny little bit? It seems that way. Interesting. Okay. Well, I'm not going down, so we're just gonna go back up. I'm... I'm not risking it. It just seem worth my time. I will take you, though. You just look cute. Oh, no, I missed it. Too much stuff in the inventory. Alright, and let's put the clay away and all of these guys. Okay. Now we're gonna hop up. Get a little bit closer to getting out of here. That's so interesting that this was all that we had for the lush cave. There's a little bit more, maybe. Oh, there's some pots. Yep, I'm curious. Torches. I'll take torches. Is there anything more up here? No. Just doesn't seem like anything is back here. Okay. Well, I've got a spore blossom. That's really all I want. Now we're gonna go find butterflies. I'm just always so curious. Oh, boots. Boots and bones. Blast protection. Curse of frozen touch. Interesting. Okay. Well, I will say this was not the uh, what I expected. But there's lots of little urns that had cool things. But luckily... We can just... Oh, yeah, see, even if we look here... Oh, there's glares! Do you guys see this? That's so cool! Okay, well, it seems like there's some lush cave here, but not a whole lot. So there's definitely places that give us more lush cave. Ooh. That looks kind of cool. I'm gonna take, like, a screenshot of this. That's neat. Um, but let's just use their map. Oh, I don't want to... If I try teleporting a home underground, I have a feeling I'll just end up, um... Just staying underground. And I, I know there's a warden's little area by me, so I'm not about that. Okay, so now... We're just gonna go up. Let's make a little bridge. And go back to our spot that lets us get out of here. And then we can bridge our way up home. Up and back to the surface. But it is kind of cool, you know, that we can uh, teleport around with the, the compass. Pretty neat. Now... I know there's butterflies around here, so let's just teleport over here. All right. Now let's rearrange our inventory. We don't need these. And let's put these all in a row so we can get all our little friends. I'll leave this here. Okay. Now to find butterflies. Actually, I think there was butterflies at our village. 
pretty sure. Let's check in these meadows. Also, me teleporting this way versus the other way also allows me to not expend, like, spend my, uh, all of my levels. All right, little butterflies. Where are you? This looks like a butterfly, maybe? Or is this a fly? <laughs> butterfly. <gasps> Where is it? Yay! Okay, we got one. I want some more colorful ones, so I'm kind of just curious to see what I can find. These aren't exactly the most colorful ones sometimes, so I am just curious if I can find them. Oh, we could add some chickadees in there. That would be kind of cute. Oh, wow. Okay, literally, this village, um, I didn't really pay attention before. But look at their view. Uh, look at their sunset. That is so pretty. Like, look at this just for, like, a Minecraft, like, screensaver. Gorgeous. Beautiful. Gorgeous. Love it. But, uh, we're, we're on a mission for butterflies. And I feel like they need it to be day. So we'll just sleep again. Alright, butterflies. The wind is out and about, but these butterflies... Where could they... Oh, what happened here? Um, silk touch. I feel like they need a home again. There's no bees, just... <gasps> oh, I used the wrong one. Oh, that's so sad. Okay, I'm sorry. I'm, I'm so sorry. Oh, that was so sad. Okay, gotta move on. Oh, butterflies! Come out, come out, wherever you are. <laughs> I don't know if I'm gonna find butterflies because usually on the map you can see them, right? Oh, here's a pillager outpost, it seems. Hmm. No butterflies. I see some different birds, right? Like there's birdies. Oh, butterflies. Where are you at? Maybe we try up here. There's also some like buildings over here. But let's try at the top here. Teleport here. Oh yes, butterflies. Okay. I see on my mini map. It says butterflies. We're we're going towards the butterflies. Oh. Two structures. Interesting. Okay, but I can see butterflies on the map, and they're pretty, and they're colorful, so we're going for them. As long as they don't run away from me. Which they very well could. Okay, I'm not seeing them. On top of the hill. Little butterflies. The bee. Oh. Yes. Okay. Hi, buddy. Hi. You're so pretty. Oh my goodness. <gasps> yes. Okay. Butterfly. Okay. I need two more. Holy cow. I missed a bunch. Oh, look at Hello, bud. Hi. <gasps> Did I get you? Yes. Okay. One more. One more little, little butterfly friend. Also, this is so pretty up here. <gasps> Hi. There's another. Hello. Oh, orange one. I want the orange one. <gasps> oh my gosh, there's so many up here. This is a gore. Oh my word, there's so many. Where'd the orange one go, though? Hi, guys. How's it going? Oh, they're so pretty. There's so many. Ugh, I love it. Just so beautiful. It's so peaceful up here. Just like all the floating particles. All the pretty, pretty things. Oh, yes, you're what I want. Um, you're a little too, f like, far away. <laughs> a little harder. Oh, there's another one. I was gonna say, a little harder to grab if you're, like, in the middle of the air and in the middle of... No, no, come, come, come down. 
please? Pretty please? <laughs> will you- will you please come down? I'd- I'd really like a monarch butterfly, please? Please? Where'd you go? Um, sir, madam, um, whoever you are, I would really like to be your friend. Oh, there. Okay, you know what? We're, we're, fine. I, I can, I can come up to your level, okay? I got no problems coming up to your level. Just please don't keep running away. Literally, you keep on running away. Oh, yay, okay. <gasps> Oh my gosh, we've got butterflies. Okay, now if we look over here, look at it. We can just come back up here to get any of the butterflies. That's so fun. Ugh, oh, I love that. Ooh, what is this? Literally, we can just like right click to any of the structures that we find. That is super cool. Like, let's just go here real quick. Oh wait, what are you? Isolager? Whoa, what are you? You're a spawner? It's a stray spawner. Ooh. Interesting. Okay. Um not what I expected. Okay, look at that. Fun stuff. Super fun. Okay. Love that for us. Just kidding, I don't at all. Um I think this guy's gonna hurt us. I think we're gonna go home. Look at him, he seems angry. Yeah. Yeah, let's let's just go home. Actually, what's this? We're just doing a little exploring, you know, no no big issues exploring. Some villagers. Whoa, mountain peaks. Oh wow. What is that is something that's very torn apart. All right, we're loading new chunks too. Hello? Hello, guys. Knock, knock. Oh, it's a little, it's a plains tavern. Oh, that's kind of cool. Got some storage. Lovely. Oh. <gasps> a ruined town map. I wonder if that's literally like what I was already like kind of looking at. Yeah, I'm pretty sure the ruined town map is literally this thing. Like, let me just... We're gonna... We'll, we'll go home in a second. You know, I feel like better Minecraft, you gotta do some exploring. It's just gotta be a thing. I just noticed there's pillagers. Man, no wonder the town is ruined. There's these guys just vibing, and this poor old town... Oh, these poor pumpkin patches. And this poor little town over here. My goodness. <gasps> Wait, look at, they trapped a person. That's kind of sad. <laughs> oh no. Interesting, okay. Well. Is this the ruined town? You know, I think we should just go home. We can do... Well, we're so close. We're so close. Okay, I'm curious. Hello? Oh, gosh. Um... Um... Funneling. Interesting. So there's some good-ish things in here. Maybe. Not exactly sure what to expect in this. Whoa. Ooh, this is like a, a ruin. Is there a way down? Somewhere? <gasps> That's kind of cool. Imagine there's like a way down. Or is this all it is? Which like, that's fine if it is. I feel like there has to be more in this. Just the, the lapis blocks? I mean, I do need lapis, so I will gladly take it. Interesting, though. There has to be something else. Okay. 
Yep. Are these these are bone bricks. I don't know if I like this. Okay, we found a new adventure, guys. Um. Oh, witches and husks. I don't know if I'm gonna like this. Uh, I don't like the sound of that. Nope. Nope, nope, nope. Don't like the sound of that. Literally me just like their hats. Oh, you're coming out. Hi, buddy. No, thank you. I didn't want to say hi to your friends. I'm sorry. I kind of snuck in on your secret club. Didn't mean to. Um, didn't know it would upset you. Hi, bud. Oh, you're all coming out. Wait, why aren't you burning? Hi. Oh, wow, you all just happened to see me, didn't you? Okay. That's fine. I can go other places. <laughs> Alright, noted. I- You know what? These things should just tell me that. Should just know. But let's, um, take a screenshot of that so that I remember it. Run, little sheepies, run! Oh, if I had more butterfly little catchers, we could grab more. Alright, well, super fun. Good to know. Um, I think that's all the time I have for today's fun and games. We'll teleport to the waypoint and go home. And now we have a new special little, like, little adventure to go on, which is cool. But I got a spore blossom. That's all I cared about. And we got butterflies. The goodies. We're just gonna drop things off in our in our chests. And get rid of the things I don't want from our collection. But we'll grab the lapis. I don't want these boots. We'll take these. Six. Okay. Now let's bring all of our little little flowers over. Oh, also we can put all of these away. Let's put the clay away. And those. And then I think if we... Yeah, we'll take the spore blossom. We'll take the flowers. And let's go bring some butterflies into our space. I doubt they, like, do too much, you know? Like, I think they're just gonna be, like, aesthetic. That's all I really want. Like, I just need the aesthetics. Alrighty. Now, uh, let's put... Oh, I need like pillaring blocks. So we'll just take some of these. Pillar up. There we go. <gasps> yes. Oh my gosh. Now we have so many particles. Yay. All right. So look at this. Now we've got the green particles. We've got the yellow particles. Look at that. We got some pink ones. And then we'll just put some of these down. Like so. To create some color. Color pops. I can... Oh, come here, bees. Can I breed you guys up? Oh, you guys are sleeping. But yes, come here. Oh, I guess. Okay, I guess it's just nap time. I love the particles so much. It's so pretty. Okay, well, as far as what I wanted to do, we've got our butterflies, we've got our bees. Let's let our friends out. So we got you, 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 you. There we go. And now we've got butterflies just kind of roaming around. We've got four of them in here. Look at that. Oh, I love it. Look at them. They're so cute. Now, I thought that I could also kind of breed the the butterflies by just like breeding different flowers with them. Oh, but look at here's our here's our flax. See? That's what the flax does. Then I don't know what you do with the flax once you have it. But I think this is so pretty. Look at the butterflies! Oh my gosh. <gasps> They're so cute. Oh, I love that. 
They're just hanging out. Oh, look at- and they even landed on the pollen! <gasps> That's so cute! Oh my gosh, yes. Love it. They're so beautiful. And then we've got our farmers over here. We've got all of our bees over here. Let's, uh, let's get some pollen going. There we go. Look at that. All the butterflies and bees. Oh, it's so pretty. I love it so much. Okay. Now I gotta, I gotta leave. Not letting any of my little friends out. Now... I think the last thing we're gonna do is I do want to go find some other beehives. I'm gonna be a little bit more careful. So let's go looking for some beehives up in here. Since this tends to be where we find them. Once I eat some more of my avocado toast. And then let's just grab a few because I do want there to be some outside. I think the yellow color up there will be really pretty. So I kind of would like to add some. We just gotta run, run around until we find any. Just gotta search around. Search around. There we go. Hi little beehive. Oh, wait, where's the lava? Oh gosh. Okay, just to be sure, so touch. All right, got it. Now we'll see if there's any more over here. Oh, you know what we could do? We could add some birds. Hi guys. Hi. Do you wanna be in our little uh, beautiful greenhouse singing some songs? We could find another little yellow one that would be fun. But I think you guys would sound beautiful. And then we'll get some beehives. I'd love to find one more canary because the yellow colors are just so, so pretty. I'm trying to like look on the map. Hello? Canaries? Oh, I hear them. Oh my word, there's a bunch of you. Okay, maybe canary. Maybe we let the robins go and grab a canary. I do like the canaries, I think. Robin, canary, canary, what are you? Oh, you little sparrow. They're so cute. Oh, I love them. Oh, there's a beehive. I think two beehives should be good because we're really only trying to keep the, the beehives on the one side. The other side, we're going to primarily just have crops on there. But I just wanted there to be a little bit of everything. Looks like we got a little bee friend that needs to hop inside. Oh gosh, oh gosh, gotta run around. But imagine just like also having the beautiful bird sounds and then we can grab some. Oh, there's a bunch. Hi, buddy. Hello. Do you need a flower? There you go. Hope that helps. Is there anybody in here? Are you gonna go in your hive? That would be great. No? Maybe if I move this one. Okay. Well, I guess I can just leave you be. Leave the bee be kind of a thing. And we'll teleport here. All right. I honestly love that these also stack, I just noticed. Okay. Now, as far as where I would put one, I'd say let's put one right there. I think that looks good. And I kind of want to put one up higher, right? Like up taller. So then let's open, I want to leave the grass alone, but let's just go here. There we go. I think that'll look good. And then we'll just go back into our inventory, grab a bunch of extra flowers so that we can give them some nice flowers around it. But look at that. Definitely shows off that there's bees here. There's a bunch of flowers, so we'll get a bunch of flowers outside of it. But let's uh, let's put our little canaries and robins in here, and then we'll get them some seeds. Actually, let's give them seeds inside our house. Because I'm just thinking, if it's going to take them a while to, like, befriend us, you know, we need a lot of seeds. Okay, so we've got a little dude. Hi, buddy. Oh, you're so cute. Oh, my 
gosh, they're adorable. Here we go, we've got you. So now you are befriended. Hi, buddy, let's give you some noms. Oh, you're hungry, aren't ya? Okay, we've got you and the little Robin. Hi, buddy. Oh my gosh, you're so cute. I love it. Okay. We're also going to move our little cardinal friend because then he'll be with his bird friends and not just sitting alone, like, staring at everybody having a party over in the greenhouse. I mean, I would want to be invited, right? All right. Now... Look how cute! Oh my gosh, I'm obsessed. So, so cute. Okay. Look at them! <laughs> oh, I love that so much! There's just butterflies, little guys singing away. Oh my word, this is beautiful. They've got their little songs. Okay, obsessed, obsessed, obsessed. I love it. Um, let's see. Okay. I think I was gonna say, I thought I had one more to place somewhere. And I don't want them to be placed there, so let's place you over here. Look at you, you're just so adorable. Oh my gosh, this is like the most vibrant place I've seen. Like, oh my word, this is gorgeous. Oh, I just can't get over it. And I guess they can't get over the one block. That's, look at this guys, this is amazing. I love it so much. And the butterflies. Oh, even they love it. <laughs> yep, they love it too. That's hilarious, okay. Well, I love that there's bird sounds. Literally, such a vibe. And let's just add some kind of like pathing out here, leading to the greenhouse. And then we're going to add some flowers outside. So we're gonna kind of just make a path, but I love the birds being in there. I think the bird sounds was like such a good call because it just sounds so beautiful now. And I do want to get some uh, dirt. So if I take this vein miner one, and then I come to the top of here. And we're just going to scrape off some layers. Just a few layers. And then we can place that to fill this in kind of the main area that we needed this to get filled in. But listen to this. You just hear him going, and that's so beautiful. I love it. Literally, I'm beyond obsessed. Like, I could not have imagined that turning out any better. Just all the little details that we added along the way. Like, definitely, I think that's gonna be my favorite place to just hang out in Minecraft in this world. Just absolutely beautiful. Just gorgeous. And yes, I'm using a pickaxe. Don't, don't worry about it. It's fine. <laughs> okay. And then we'll add some more pathing over here. Now, I think another kind of um, long play, I'll make more something where we'll be kind of decorating this path. But I think for now, this is good. So we're gonna grab flowers and coarse dirt to just trim in the paths. That's what I'm thinking we'll do. But then we will put all these other things away. Even the flax, we'll put the, the map will stay out because I think the map to me is more special. So if I tip in dirt, of course dirt. And then let's see. Yeah, our special things are in here. Oh yeah, there's the rootman. I would put rootman in there, but they, they like to 
hawk loogies of dirt at me and I'm not about that being in my area. <laughs> But, you know, it's it's cute. They're cute anyways. They're just not something I like, um... Yeah, being... <laughs> just throwing dirt at me. Just, you know. It's, it's not the not the vibes that I'm going for. Like, I'm sure they're just wanting to kind of do like a snowball fight type of a thing. But, like, you know. They just use... They just like using dirt. I'm sure that's all it is. I'm sure they mean no harm. Even though they did yeet me um, to my death by accident, because I just stood too close. But I'm sure it was harmless, right? They don't mean to hurt me. They're too cute for that. Okay, and then let's put a little bit here. All right, and then let's take a look from afar. Ooh, that looks so good and beautiful. Ugh, yes, 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 huge fan, huge, huge fan. Then the last bits that I want to do are removing all of these piles of rocks, just so that everything looks as though it's solid dirt around this. I think that'll look way more pretty if it's just the Sakura vibrant green instead of some gray stone nearby. So we're gonna replace these. And I think I accidentally... Yeah, okay. And then, and let's see, vein miner is this one. So if I just scoop some off the top again. There we go. And then we'll scoop these off as well. Oh, hi, buddy. Dude, imagine if I fell down there. Hello. No, thank you. No, thank you. Um, didn't expect caves to be down here, so let's get ready to, um, fill her. Okay, okay, we're good. We're safe, we're good. We're fine. I'm just whispering for no reason. Well, I have reasons, but like... I didn't expect there to be creepers just creeping down here, but it's okay. Look, there's definitely been Endermen down here too. Just three creepers right off the bat though, like hello? Can I put my... Oop, and you. Hi, bud. I see you sneaking. I see you being a sneaky little dude. Okay. What do I get from you? Power to me. No, no thanks. Okay. Let's just... Let's just jump up out of here. And I will do two layers just because I don't want to end up falling again. That would be scary. We'll fill this in too. But that way, this just looks a lot better now that everything around it is the solid socket of green instead of bunches of stone. Okay. And then we'll scrape this off the top. Just like so. And like so. I pressed the wrong button. I started hiding my armor instead of pressing the things I were meant to be. Okay. Then this just gets covered up as well. Okay, but look at that. It's so good. I love this so, so much. Wow. Okay. Well, guys, I think on that note, 
we're gonna call it here with our long play thank you guys so much for hanging out with me i'm obsessed with how our greenhouse turned out we've got some farmer villagers in here we've got butterflies just so much beauty in a space bees butterflies we've got little birds singing their songs We've got all of our little villagers doing their thing as well. And I love this place so much. I think I might just hang out here for a long, long time because this is just too beautiful. But I hope you enjoy the rest of your day. And I'm just going to enjoy some peaceful sounds of nature in here. So I hope you enjoy the rest of your day. <laughs>